زنا لا يحرم لو واحد زنى بامرأة وحملت منه يقول لك إن هذا الماء غير محرم يعني إيه غير محرم يعني دي مش بنته يعني إيه برضه مش فاهم يا عم الشيخ يعني هل يجوز له نكاحها قال لك أي يتجوزها عادي دي بنته قال لك مين اللي قال بنته هي لا بنته لا شرعا ولا شيء ما مش بنته لن تنسب له أصلا ولما واحد يزني بواحدة ويخلف منها بنت فكتب باسمه باسم الزاني لا أبدا أبدا يبقى مش بنته يعني قتل المرتد مو عشان يصير مسلم المرتد مرتكب لجرم مثل الزاني الزاني اذا كان محصنا يرجم اذا كان غير محصن يجلد السارق اذا اجتمعت شروط قطع اليد قطعت يده القاتل يقتل فهذه عقوبات هذه عقوبات لهؤلاء على العمل الذي قاموا به ومنها المرتد إذا ارتد يقتل إذا تاب من الردة يترك إن هو يعاقب على هذا الفعل أن فيه استهتار بهذا الدين فيعاقب على هذا العمل كما لو سب الرسول أو سب الله جل وعلا أو كذا فإنه يقتل لهذا الفعل وليس لأجل أن نغصبه على الإسلام الإسلام يعني لا يحتاج ولا يريد يعني مرتزقة يعني يصير مسلم ولا ذبحناك ولا لا لا ما نريد مرتزقه. الكف اول شيء السبي لا يكون الا الكفار. لا يجوز سبي مؤمن. يعني لا يجوز يكون قتال بين مسلمين مثلا لاي سبب من الاسباب، الفتن التي تحدث يكون قتال بين المسلمين لا يجوز السبي ابدا، السبي لا يكون الا للكافر. لا يسبى المسلم ابدا وانما يسبى الكافر، وانا ارجو ان الانسان لا يخجل من دينه. و يقول لا هذا قبل والاسلام لا يدعو الى هذا، لا كن كن قويا في دينك، اظهر دينك. نعم هذا ديني، نعم. الذي لا يرضى ان يعبد الله تبارك وتعالى فانه يستعبد او يدفع الجزيه او يدخل في الاسلام او يقاتل. ه- هذه الاحوال الاربعه ابدا لا يوجد حال خامس. لذا اول ما يدعى الانسان يدعى الى الاسلام، يقول اعبد ال- اعبد الله تبارك وتعالى. الله خلقك لتعبده فإذا قال لا أريد أن أعبد الله تبارك نقول تعيش في أرض الله ولا تعبده ادفع الجزية نقول ولن أدفع الجزية فإذا رفض أن يعبد الله ورفض أن يدفع الجزية نقول له إذا ما لنا معك إلا القتال فنقاتله لأجل هذا فإن قتلناه فهو في النار وإن أسرناه فهو من السبي يصير عبدا رغما عنه لما رفض أن يكون عبدا مكرما باختياره فسيكون عبدا حقيرا بدون اختياره هكذا هو الأمر بالنسبة للذين لا يعبدون الله تبارك وهؤلاء يعني لا تشفقوا عليهم هؤلاء كفار هؤلاء يرفضون أن يعبدوا الله تبارك وتعالى يرفضون أمر الله جل وعلا يعادون الله يسبون الله جل وعلا فالإنسان لا تأخذه الشفقة على أعداء الله على ناس هم معتدون. And you have no idea how much I hope Allah is going to curse you to the rest of your life. Nothing, boy. You're finished already. Look at me. Look at me. You know you're done. You are. Ali. 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 Ali.
every sun, every moon, every single planet, every single angel, the billions and billions and billions of angels, all of them, with the exception of none, Mikael, Jibrail, Israfil, all the first heaven, the second heaven, the third heaven, the fourth heaven, the fifth heaven, the sixth heaven, the seventh heaven, the ocean above it, the eight that carry the flag of Allah, Dude, the water, the hearts of Allah, all are dead, all are dead. Oh. Ali. Ali. Hello, hello, we are live on air. Welcome everybody, God bless you. I hope everybody is doing okay. I hope you're whole, you're healthy in this lockdown. God bless everybody. Hello, let me say hello to our dear admins, Phil Herrera. Present, how are you brother Phil Herrera? Other admins, uh, Rias Qureshi, welcome my friend, God bless you. There are many admins today, I see, welcome. Guys, keep our admins in your prayers, keep us in your prayers and pray for our ministry guys because last time Sharia Tube, I call it Sharia Tube, they uh, put a shadow ban on my live show about that Daoud Kim and Saido Rashido. So let's see what will happen today. <clears throat> hey, welcome Snail Leopard, hello. Papillon, Glory, Glory Nick, Lighthouse, Tati Avanus, I saw that you shared my last live show, thank you so much my friend, God bless you. Guys, make sure to download this video too, because we're going to drop a lot of bombs on the face of Allah and the fake prophet of Islam. Cheeseburger, what's up my friend, your name always makes me hungry man. Hey Kiriandi sister, how are you? Peter M, Romeo, Demilio Chances, Trinity Productions. Jesus Christ Army, Hisop Berg, hey how are you Hisop Berg, welcome, Snow Leopard, Sola Scriptura, welcome, Somali Christian TV, how are you dear sister, we have a dear sister, an ex-Muslim Sunni Somali sister and her husband who always here to watch our show, welcome dear sister, guys also make sure to subscribe to her YouTube channel, uh, maybe the admins can provide her YouTube channel too, she's, she's doing amazing work, she's an ex-Muslim Sunni Somali sister who accepted our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior, so welcome to Christianity sister, God bless you, when you seek Jesus will answer, the name above all names, welcome guys, let us start, sorry if I did not mention your name guys, but I love you, you're all very dear brothers and sisters of mine in Christ. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Let us start. Our today's topic, guys, is about the corruption of the Quran by Muslim hands. Yes, you heard it correctly. The corruption of the Quran by Muslim hands. But before we actually start, uh, I think it became a nice habit of ours to always start with a beautiful prayer. So I want to ask you to pray with me in the name of our Lord and Savior, the name above all names, so our live stream can be blessed. Pray with me. Dear Lord, bless our beloved audience and subscribers. Thank you for your grace, Lord. And Jesus, we believe that you are truly risen, and you are risen indeed. al Masih qam, haqqan qam, that's what we say in the Arabic as Arabic speaking Christians. Lord Jesus, thank you for your ultimate gift, and thank you for your grace that saved us from death. Thank you for this lovely audience of subscribers who are always here to support us day in day out. Please Lord Jesus bless them and their families and loved ones. Please, Keep all of us healthy and safe, especially from the spread of this Qur'ana virus, which is a very dangerous virus, you know. And Father, please unfold us in your arms, help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you, so that you can direct our words, thoughts and actions. 
And please give us a measure of your strength so that we might not give into discouragement any taqiyya, any deception or makr of Allah, I mean Satan, any lies or any doubt, Lord. Please help us honor you in all our ways. Jesus, I pray to you and ask you to shine your holy light on all of us, including the Muslims who might be in need, who might be here to watch and learn and maybe are seeking for the real truth. Please open also their eyes. We don't hate them. We actually love them. We might be tough sometimes with them, but you know, it's called tough love. So also they can be saved. Only the truth and only the truth matters, Lord. Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and guide me and loosen my tongue today so I can speak the truth without any error or any shame because we should not be ashamed about the truth, Lord. And please give me wisdom and courage to do whatever needs to be done in Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Welcome everybody, we are live on air. On this live show, we will have the opportunity today to understand how Muslims corrupt the Quran with their own hands. On top of that, anything that we can find will be used against the fake prophet of Islam in the court of law. So I hope that Allah is here and is going to protect his prophet from us during today's hearing. So let's see if Allah will be in court to defend his wannabe self-proclaimed prophet. My Skype is open guys, uh, admins if you can provide my Skype ID, my Skype ID is DROP Christian in the live chat. If there are Muslims who can or want to call us live on air, you can call us through Skype. My Skype is open, you can call me. Again, my Skype ID is DROP Christian. Christians, if you want to call, you have to wait. You know the basic rules, right, of our live stream. During the teaching, only Muslims can call, but at the end, if there are no Muslims who are, who are left, we are out of Muslims, unfortunately, then we will allow our dear brothers and Christian, uh, our dear brothers and sisters in Christ to call us live too. So guys, you know the rules, all right? So let us start. I hope that there are going to be Muslims who want to have a nice and respectful discussion with me live on air. We are live, guys. Come on. We are live, brother. We are live. So let us start. Let us start guys don't forget uh, please to subscribe smash that like button click on the notification bell you know how important it is though to these days you know sharia tube is always holding us back from doing our work but it is what it is make sure also to subscribe to our social media to facebook facebook.com slash christian and if you want to support our work through patreon you want to become a patron you can do that on patreon.com slash Christian. Welcome everybody. God bless you. Let us start. Now, before we uh, started, I saw some Muslims who came here to, you know, to teach us um, and actually teach me my own Aramaic language. I'm an Aramaic language. Yeah. yeah so I'm, I'm an Aramaic speaker. I speak the Aramaic language. You want me, you want to teach me my own language, man? I speak Aram Aramaic and I'm an Arabic speaker. So the taqiyya won't work, man. You can try, it, it doesn't work, man. Come on, man. I, I'm not born yesterday, man. I, you know, I, I even can recite the, you know, the Lord's Prayer in Aramaic. Aramaic is my language, man. The same language that Jesus spoke. Uh, you, you want to teach me my own language? Go ahead. Be my, be, you know, be my guest. It's your funeral. So, guys, before we actually go to to the topic of today, I want to clear some stuff up. So, I hope you to take some notes. I hope you got some paper and pen to write stuff down. Take screenshots, guys. Use your smartphone. Take screenshots so you can use what we are teaching you on the screen, I made this by the way, what you see right here on the screen, use it guys in your debates with Muslims, when they ever come to you and they say, they want to force Allah in our Holy Bible. Allah is not our God, man. Who is Allah? So guys, in other words, take a screenshot and let me explain to you a couple of things. Ilah, do you see this word? Ilah in Arabic means God. It's the generic word for God. It's not Allah. It's God, right? It means God. Simple, clear, right? So the word Ilah is same like Elohim. El, like 
you know, in the name of uh, Jibrail, right? Jibrail, Israel, Shema Israel, right? The L, the L that you see in the word Israel, it means God. Aloho Aramaic, right? I'm an Aramaic speaker. Aloho is an Aramaic word for God. Aloha, different dialect, you know, you have the Western dialect for the Aramaic and you have the, the Eastern dialect. Aloha or Allaha does not mean Allah, it means simply Ilah, Elohim, El. So you see all these words, Hebrew, Arabic, Aramaic, depends on the dialect, it means God. It doesn't mean Allah, you idiots. Right? Nabiyak, his name was Qatham ibn Kilab. Qatham ibn Kilab was the real name of Muhammad. That means Qatham, the son of dogs. So everything you say, everything you say will be used against your prophet in the court of law. Your prophet was a dog, so don't call me a donkey, you idiot. And by the way, the wife that he stole from his adopted son, right, from Zaid, her last name is Jash, Zainab bint Jash. She is the daughter of the donkey. So your prophet is the son of dogs. He stole the wife of his adopted son and he married the daughter of, of the donkey. So everything you say Muslims will be used against you and your prophet in the court of law. So go clean your mouth. Go smooch the black stones. Maybe it will suck your sins that you just committed. Right? So guys, let us continue. Forget about the Abduls in the text who are always calling their prophet uh, a dog. So the word Ilahi, Ilahi, Aramaic, right? Remember when Jesus was on the cross quoting uh, Psalm, the Psalm, right? Ilahi, Ilahi, wa ma sabaktani. Ilahi means my God, my God. Ilahi in Arabic, this is Arabic, you see? Just the I here behind it. This is God, this is my God. Ya Ilahi, I'm invoking my God. Oh God, Ya Ilahi. So when I, as an Arabic speaking Christian, I want, to, I want to pray to God, I will say, Ya Ilahi, Ya Ilahi. Do you catch, did you catch it? So, oh my God, right? Ya Ilahi. Ilahi, Aramaic, again, my God, right? Eloheinu, our God, my God, our God, right? In Hebrew, did you catch it? So what has Allah has to do with all of this? Notice, Ilah means God in Arabic. Did you catch it? Ilahi means my God in Arabic, not Allah. So uh, Muslims, you want to play with Allah's uh, name and you know, you want to put here an I, you see? They want, you know, that's what they do. They even corrupt the name of Allah when they try to tell you that Allah means the God. So are you playing with the name of Allah, doing bid'ah to the name of Allah, Muslims? Right? Uh, Jason Bourne, you're an idiot. Jason Bourne, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. Jesus said, Elahi, my God. So he's calling his father, my God, he's in the flesh, my God. And he's quoting one of the Psalms, right? He's quoting a Psalm, so Jesus is fulfilling scripture. Did you, did you, get, did you catch it, guys? Jesus is, is fulfilling scripture, one of the Psalms. Uh, Edmonds, uh, if uh, Phil Herrera, Psalm, was it Psalm, which Psalm was it again? Help me to help you guys. Psalm 1110, was it 1110 or Psalm 22? I, I, I can't remember the exact, okay, Psalm 22. So Jesus on the cross is quoting scripture, fulfilling his scripture, right? 22.1, okay, to be specific, thank you guys. Help me to help you, thank you. So you see, when Jesus was quoting scripture on the cross, he said, Ilahi, Ilahi, wa sabaktani, right? So he's quoting scripture, right? He's quoting scripture to fulfill it. Jesus had to fulfill all the prophecies about him. And there are more like 300 plus uh, prophecies, right? That he had to fulfill. So guys, you see, you see what the Muslims are doing? They are playing with the name of Allah, adding an I here to show you, right? Uh, look, it means the God. No, it does not mean the God, you see? Allah is the name of the Islamic God. So when they try to put an I, you see, they, they take this word, which means God, they put it here to explain to you, it means the God. No, it does not mean the God, because now you are doing bid'ah, you are corrupting even the name of Allah. You know, you see what they are doing, guys? Do you see how they are playing with Allah's name? It's a name. El means the, right? 
modern meaning, the, la, the la. So why are you putting this word, forcing it in the name of Allah? You're doing bid'ah to the name of Allah. His name is la, the la. Because remember, al means the, do you see it? And the name is la. Right? But we know, you know, it goes back to the classical meaning, al, al. It means God. So, so actually, Muslims, you need to pick your cherries. If you want to go by the modern meaning, guys, in the chat, watch. The modern meaning of El is the, right, in Arabic. The classical meaning, the classical meaning of uh, El, right, is God. So, is it, pick your cherries, Muslims. Is it God leh? Or the la. What's the name of your God, Muslims? Pick your cherries, man. So, why are you forcing ilah, which means God, inside the name of Allah? Why are you doing bid'ah, corrupting the name of Allah with your own hands, Muslims? Uh, Lasari is saying in the super chat, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for your teaching, RC. Jesus bless you. Thank you, uh, Lasari. I'm only here to serve, guys. I'm here to serve you and serve the truth. I'm replaceable, guys. You don't need me, right? You don't need me. I'm a nobody. I am myself am a, am a sinner. I myself need Jesus, like you, all of you. All of you sinners need Jesus. So I'm only here to serve. I'm only here to use my knowledge and skills to serve the truth. And only the truth matters, right? But if it's the plan of the Holy Spirit to guide me, to teach you, so be it. Right? So be it. If it's God's plan to he, for me to be here with you, spend my personal time with you guys, so be it. I would love to be with you, you guys, to, to, for the truth and nothing but the truth. And may God silence me if I'm speaking non-truth, right? If it's time for me to go to my Lord, then so be it. But as long as I can be here with you guys and teach you, I will do my best. Guys, just a second. I'll be right back. All right, all right. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. So guys, <clears throat> did you catch it? How Muslims, are, when, they, when we ask them, what does the name of Allah mean? They will say it means the ilah. No, it does not mean, mean that. You are forcing this word in the name of Allah. You are putting the I in the name of Allah. You are doing bid'ah. You are corrupting the name of Allah. So no, Allah does not mean the God. It does not mean that. It means the ilah. That's his name. It's a name. You idiots. You, you, are, you are a donkey, son of a donkey. Because only donkeys, and I'm not trying to insult any real donkeys, any real animal, you must be a donkey to stay a Muslim in 2020. Right? So, and I'm not, actually guys, I'm really, really, because real donkeys are really smart animals, man. Anyway. And by the way, like we said, the wife of your prophet, her name was Donkey. Her last name was Donkey. Binti Jash, Zaina Binti Jash, the daughter of the donkey. So everything you say will be used against you and your prophet in the court of law, Muslims. Guys, here is more information before we go to the real topic, because we need to address what Muslims say, right? Now the pagan Mecca and Quraysh, which were the tribe of Muhammad, guys, you challenge me, okay, call me. Uh, Mister, you need, uh, you need a psychiatric, psychiatric, or whatever, sorry if I'm butchering the English, guys. I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, English is not my native tongue. You challenge me, okay, call me. Call me on my Skype, Mr. Abdul. This is my Skype ID, let me put it in the chat. Call me, yalla, I'm waiting. Yalla, call me. You can download Skype. Add my Skype ID and call me. I'm waiting. My Skype is open, man. Look. You see, my Skype is open. Oh, my sister, Hat our dear sister Hatun wants to have a live show with, uh, with me. Lord willing, uh, this upcoming Friday. So guys, you know, I'm going to have a live show, Lord willing, with our dear sister Hatun of DCI Ministries. So, right. We're going to spank the Hafs Quran and whatnot. 
Uh, any, any, yalla, ya muslimin, yalla. I'm live. Uh, I challenge you. Where's your, where's your call, man? Call me. Silent fi sabil Allah. Right? They are silent for the sake of Allah. Anyway, as long you are cowards, you know, only blah, blah, only words, no action. That means you're a coward. You're a coward like your prophet. So guys, the pagan Meccan Quraysh, which are the tribe or the family, let's say, of Muhammad, already practiced Tawheed. Yes, you heard it correctly. The word Tawheed, right? The word Tawheed is already known, right? You see it? It was already known before Islam. And the pagans of Mecca, they already practiced Tawheed. Really? Yes, really. So even Muhammad did not bring anything new. Muslims always say, Tawheed, Tawheed, Allah Akbar, Allah is one. No, it's Allah is not one. Because the pagans already practiced Tawheed before Islam. And here is proof. The Meccan Quraysh, before Islam, used to say, Labbaik Allahumma labbaik, la sharika lak. That's what the pagans of Mecca used to say before Islam. I.e. we do not associate any partners with you. So the pagans of Quraysh, do you see it guys what they say? The pagans of Quraysh, which are the tribe of Muhammad, the family of Muhammad, before Islam, they used to say, we do not associate any partners with you Allah. Did you catch it? Did you catch it guys? So Muslims, how dare you to say that Tawheed is a new thing in Islam? That's not new. It's not new. Your forefathers, right? You claim that you are, you know, Arabs. Your forefathers already practiced Tawheed before Islam. Do even the word Tawheed is not new, which means unification, by the way. It does not mean oneness. It means unification. For example, Ana Awahid. I unify. Do you hear it? Let's say uh, a woman with her with her husband. Right? I am unifying the wife, the, the woman and her husband together as one. Did you hear it? So Tawheed, Tawheed means unification, making two or three things or persons as one. Did you catch it? So the pagans of Quraysh used to say, لَبَّيْكَ اللَّهُمَّ لَبَّيْكَ لَا شَرِيكَ لك. You, you know, you are the supreme God. We don't associate any partners with you. Yes, they had intercessors. Remember? Allat al-Uzza wal manad the daughters of Allah. But they only were like, basically like mail delivery, you know, postmen. They used to deliver the prayers of the Quraysh all the way to Allah. They could fly, right? They were cranes flying right like birds so when the pagans used to pray they call them pagans but they're actually not real pagans right because remember they said we don't associate any partners with you Allah so they are praying to the supreme moon idol Allah and these bird idols they used to carry the prayers of the pagans all the way to Allah so they are only intercessors they only intercede they used to only deliver the mail the mail right so it's a mail system to deliver the prayers of the Quraysh did you catch it guys yes cranes birds right they were birds big birds thank you for the super chat Rory have you seen Ali Dawa challenge I took on the challenge Oh, you did? Well, the Ali Dawah is a kid, man. He doesn't even know Arabic. So yeah, the pagans were, actually the pagans were monotheists, yes? They were muwahidun fillah. Even the pagans, do you hear it? Muwahidun, unified in Allah. Did you catch it? The pagans of Mecca, before Muhammad, before Islam, they were muwahidun fillah. They practiced Tawheed, unification. Did you catch it? They were monotheists actually, but they had intercessors. Why? Because even in Islam, Muhammad, right? Even in Islam, Muhammad, the black stone, the Quran who will take a shape, the black stone will speak. They, were, they are all intercessors, right? Sorry if I'm butchering uh, the English guys, but you'll get the idea. Intercessors, they are intercessors, even in Islam. You see it? So the Quraysh before Muhammad, before Islam, before Islam was created by Muhammad and Khadija and Waraqa, they practiced Tawheed. 
Wow, do you see it? And Muhammad took it, Muhammad took the Tawheed, he implemented it in Islam when he created Islam, and they even use it at Talbiya, right? Do you see this word? At Talbiya is a Muslim prayer invoked by the Muslim pilgrims as a conviction that they intend to perform Hajj. Guys, even the word Hajj comes from Hak, Ihtikak, which means robbing. Robbing what? Menstrual blood of the women before Islam on the black stone. <laughs> I kid you not. The word Hajj comes from Hak, Hak, right? It means robbing, robbing, robbing what? The menstrual blood of the women on the black stone for fertility reasons. And they used to have even sexual orgies around the Kaaba before Islam. People used to go naked around the Kaaba, I kid you not. And later Muhammad started to forbid it, even in the time of Muhammad. Thanks for the donation, uh, Rory, God bless you. God bless you for your super chat. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> so guys, do you see how Muhammad plagiarized it? Do you see it? He even plagiarized Tawheed. And he even plagiarized Labbaik Allahumma Labbaik La Sharika Lak. The Muslims even use it today. Do you see Muhammad was nothing but a copy paste machine like the Muslims in our comment section. They always copy paste like idiots. Acting like their prophet, right? Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? It's in front of you. DC Universe. DC Universe. DC Universe. When you watch comics, let me ask you a question, Mr. DC uh, Universe. You are calling us cowards. When you watch comics, I know you're a coward. You're not going to call me. Mr. DC Universe, you called me cow. You are called us cowards. But when you watch comics, isn't pictures in Islam haram, are you calling your prophet a liar and a deceiver when you are watching movies, watching pictures, comics? You know it's haram, right? Are you calling your prophet a, uh, a scam, a hypocrite? Are you, are you even a real Muslim when you watch DC comics? Okay. Uh, Mr. K, thank you for the donation, for the super chat. Islam stole Tawheed from the pagans? Yes. Does that make Muhammad warning useless? Yes. Again, Muhammad was useless? Yes. This is for baby Rob. Ah, thank you so much, God bless. Yes, guys, my wife is pregnant. Thank you so much, guys. God bless you. Keep us in your prayers. Keep my wife and unborn son in your prayers. I'm going to have a son, guys. Very, very soon. So I'm trying to be very active, guys. <laughs> you know, you guys, I have a full ministry. You know, thank you for your support, guys. I really, without you, we cannot do this. So at the moment, I'm trying to be very active. Always, you know, day in, day out, almost a live show. Because when my son is going to be born, you know, maybe I'm not going to, <laughs> I will not have the time to do this every day, right? So, so guys, I'm here, you know, trying. <laughs> thank you, Riaz Qureshi, my dear brother in Christ. Our dear admin, Riaz Qureshi, keep him in your prayers. Thank you for the super chat, my friend. God bless you and your loved ones. So guys, I'm trying really to put as much as time I can afford with you here to teach you. So please, keep us in your prayers, keep my lovely family in your prayers. Right? My wife, my son, my unborn son. Yesterday we went uh, to the hospital and everything was cool, everything was fine. Thanks to the Lord, thanks to the Lord who gave us this very lovely gift, this blessing, a miracle. <clears throat> so guys, let us continue. Do you see guys how Muhammad did not come with anything new? Even the word Tawheed, the practice of Tawheed was already being practiced by the Quraysh before Islam, by the tribe of Muhammad before Islam. Did Muhammad bring anything new? No. You look what they are saying. لَبَّيْكَ اللَّهُمَّ لَبَّيْكَ لَا شَرِيكَ لَكَ the pagans used to say, we do not associate any partners with you, Allah. So they worshipped Allah before Islam. This is why the name of Muhammad's father, right? The name of Muhammad's father, of Muhammad, is Abd Allah, right? Abdullah, Abdullah, which means the slave of Allah. Did you catch it? So Allah already existed before Islam, and the pagans used to only pray to Allah. They were muwahidun. They practice Tawheed, Fillah, right? 
Tawheed, Muwahidun. Do you hear it? They were unified in Allah. Muwahidun fil Unified in Allah. Uh, first, Colossians 1.17. Thank you for the super chat. May the Lord bless you, all your family. God bless you too, Colossians 1.17. Rory, thank you too. Rory says, I want your help so Ali Dawa can close down his channel and your Arab could you get in contact with reason answers. Well, uh, Rory, well, you know, Ali Dawa, we already spanked him, proof everybody that he's actually a Christian. He's not a real Muslim. When he said, you know, we glorify Jesus more than you Christians. You know, Hamd. Glorification, right? They are doing ham, they are doing tasbih for Jesus according to Ali Dawa. Tasbih, to sabbih, glorifying, right? Wow, guys, so many super chats today. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, you know, I'm speechless. Carrie Ann, again, sister, dear sister, she's always sending us donations. So happy for you. Thank you so much, sister. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless your loved ones, guys. I'm speechless. So let us continue, guys. So now, guys, did you take notes? Take a screenshot, please, before I close this screen. Take a screenshot. Use this against the Muslims. I made this from Muslim sources, right? This is from very authentic Muslim sources. And this is, by the way, you know, we, can, we, we found this, this that you see here between... Uh, you know, those lines. We found this uh, when Muhammad wanted, uh, you know, to make a peace treaty, the peace treaty of Al Hudaybiyah, Al Hudaybiyah peace treaty with the Meccans. They did not accept that Muhammad would write his name on the contract, right? They didn't, didn't accept him, his name as Rasulullah, because they did not want any associators with Allah. So when Muhammad put his name in the Shahada, La ilaha illallah wa Muhammad Rasulullah, he became a partner. So they refused that and they told Muhammad, remove it. And Muhammad said to Ali, right? Ali, remember the, Ali, one of the caliphs, his cousin? He told him to remove his name. They said, no, we don't associate any partners. So you have to remove your name from the contract. So when Muhammad put his name in the Shahada, Muhammad associated himself as a partner with Allah. Do you see how the Shahada is sure, guys? Do you see? Do you see what I see? Yes. Muhammad associated himself and made himself equal with Allah. And the Quraysh did not accept it. Right? When they wrote the contract of Al Hudaybiyah, the peace treaty between the Muslims and the Meccans. Did you catch it? Uh, Rory, uh, call me later, okay, please. I'm in the middle in the teaching, please. Rory, you have to wait. You have to wait, okay? Only Muslims can call us. So if you want to call me, call me when I allow everyone to call me later. For now, only the Muslims can call us. My Skype ID is the Europe Christian. Only Muslims are allowed to call us, Rory, okay? Those are the basic rules of my life. You should know that by now. Thank you for the super chat anyway. God bless you. Tom 2, yes, you can Google it. Google Al Hudaybiyah Treaty and you will find many sources. And if uh, our, our admin Phil Herrera, you can provide the link, right, for this. Uh, they didn't want Muhammad's name to be on the contract because Muhammad was associating himself with Allah. He's, they said, we don't accept you. So when Muhammad wrote his name, they said, we don't accept you. Right, so they, Muhammad asked his cousin Ali to remove his name. Ali refused. Yes, you heard it correct. Ali refused, but Muhammad, because he knew how to read and write, yes, but that's off topic. And Muhammad himself, with his own hand, removed his name to complete the contract. Yes, that's how the story goes. Let us continue. So, in other words, Allah is already known as the pagan moon idol of the pagan Quraysh. They, remember, we already explained that, right? They already practiced Tawheed and they only worshipped Allah. Yes, they had intercessors, Allah, al uzza wal manad the daughters of Allah, but they were nothing but intercessors, in the in-between guys, right? So 
Allah is the pagan moon idol. Muhammad took him, plagiarized him, and adopted him into Islam. And let, let, as we said, the name of the father of Muhammad, Abdullah, the slave of Allah, is already explaining that, right? And Allah is the pagan moon idol. And other names for this fake dead god, statue god, the idol of the of the Quraysh, are Hubal Sin. Remember in the Quran, Ya Sin, they are invoking sin, right? Ya Sin. So in the Quran, even you can see Ya Sin, right? Sin is his other name, and Baal. Baal. See how many names Allah had? So this Allah is certainly not our living holy God. God forbid, it's an insult to call Allah. Jehovah, the I am, right? Did you catch it? Allah is not our holy living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God forbid, it's an insult to call Allah Jehovah. Did you catch it, guys? Yes, RD, correct. So the sin, ya sin, sin is in the Quran. It's one of the names of Allah. And we know that's Satan. It's Satan, right? It's All these names are Satan. No one else. <clears throat> Let us continue, guys. Now, I hope, finally, finally, guys, we, you know, I had to do this. I had to address these idiots, and I hope they were listening in the live chat. We had to address these idiots who came to teach us my own Aramaic language. I'm an Aramaic speaker, and on top of that, I am an Arabic speaker. So, your taqiyya won't work, man. Your taqiyya won't work, brother. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Do we have any Muslims, guys? Do we have any Muslims? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslims? Any Muslims? Uh, JKD, why are you calling me Shaitan? Yeah, yeah, Shaitan ibn Shaitan. Call me, refute me, show everybody that Rob Kishin is a blasphemer. Show everybody that Rob Kishin is an evil liar. Refute me. Come on, man. I'm waiting. Guys, I'm tired of Islam. I'm tired of spanking Islam day in, day out. Refute me. End my career, man. You have the chance to end my career. Yeah, and I'm going, uh, Tati Avanus. I'm going to teach my son Aramaic too, so we will pass on. Guys, you know, Aramaic, man, we are, we are the, you know, we are the old classical ones, man. We speak the language of Jesus, man. Uh, you're, if you're going to refute me, call me then, Mr. Daniel Khan. Daniel Khan, call me. My Skype ID, if you have Skype, my Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Call me. I'm waiting for you, man. Don't be a text terrorist. Don't stay in the live chat. Call me. I hope you can defend your prophet in a court of law on Skype. Rob is a Muhammadan shaitan, but you are a coward. Maybe I'm a shaitan, but you are a coward. You don't dare to call me. You're a coward. Like your imams and shiuch and ustas, brother. So guys, we're going to expose Muslim tactics and we're going to show you how they actually play with the Quran of Allah, right? Because that's the topic of today. The Quran was is corrupted by Muslim hands. So we're going to refute the Muslim tactics, right? Uh, no, Arab, Arabic comes from the Aramaic, you idiot. Arab, and actually Arabic is a mixture of many languages. Hebrew, Aramaic, Persian. For example, what is Sundus? Sundus is a Persian word that we can find in the Quran. Uh, Samad is a Hebrew word. Echad, Hebrew word. If you hear me, guys, please refresh. Refresh, guys, refresh. Give me one if you can hear me. We just lost connection. Give me one if you can hear me, guys. Tiger J7, thank you for the super chat. God bless you, my friend. God bless your loved ones. Thank you so much. Okay, we are back. Thanks to the Lord. Thanks to the Lord, we are back. Okay, good, good, good. I gone when I when I was guys when I was talking at, at that very moment we lost the connection. So again, even the Quran is an Aramaic word. Did you know that, guys? Let me give you an example. Quriono, Quriono, at follows Shliho. 
if if there's an Aramaic speaker here, maybe you can explain what it means to the to the crowd. Quryunut fawl shlihu. The reading, the reading, right? The reading of the Apostle Paul. The reading of the Apostle Paul. That's in Aramaic. Did you catch it? Quryunu, Quryana, depends on the dialect. If you're an Eastern or a Western uh, Aramaic speaker. I am in a Western, so I say Quryunu. And an uh, an eastern one would say Koryana. Did you catch it? Koryana or Koryunu follow Shlihu. The reading of the Apostle Paul or the message, you know, you, you got the idea, right? So you see how even the word Quran is an Aramaic word. I'm scared, I'm very scared from Zakir Nag. Hey, brother Thitta, call me brother Thitta. I'm here, brother. I'm not scared of anyone, you idiots. I'm here, call me. Call your, call your Imam, Mr. Uh, Mr. Yagvab, Yagvab ibn Gvab, brother, brother Thista, call, call your Imam, let them call me. Dominus Telkom, yes. Like Sam Shamoun. We are Assyrians. A brother Thista. I can't, guys, I can't do the voice that uh, our dear brother Christian Prince. I mean, if, if you want Zachary Nike's voice, go to him, man. I, I, can't, I really can't. I tried. I'm not that good, man. I, you know, I have, I have, I have other qualities. <laughs> hey, brother Theta. <laughs> I fail. Yes, I fail. Yeah. Well, I can be good in everything, man. <laughs> hey, brother Theta. <laughs> Man, uh, CP always cracks me up, man, when I hear him uh, using the voice of Zachary Nike. He's a legend, man. Our dear brother is a legend, man. True living legend. And no Muslim can refute it, man. So, guys, let us actually start the topic of today, okay? Last time, if you were here, last time when you were here, hey, first of all, brada. Christ is risen, the King of Kings. Amen to that. Risen is He indeed. Al Masih qam haqqan qam. That's what we Arabic speaking Christians say. Al Masih qam haqqan qam. Jesus is risen. Truly is risen. Do we have any Muslim guys? Come on, man. Why are Muslims so so scared? Why are Muslims so scared? Come on, man. Muslims, yalla, come out of the bushes. Yalla, ya akhwan, come out of the bushes and call me live. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian, the Rob Christian, call me, let us have some fun. You know, if Zach and I, guys, I promise you, I will take a vow and you are my witnesses. If Zach and I one day decides to debate me or debate maybe Christian Prince or any Christian apologist, any skilled Christian apologist, my friends, I will Force Zachary Nike to do the monkey dance in front of all of you. If if I cannot refute him in five minutes, then I will close my YouTube channel, right? I will delete my YouTube channel and I will stop teaching. I took a vow. If Zachary Nike one day comes out of the, the bushes, I will force him to do the monkey dance in front of all of you. That's my vow. That's my... You know, that's my promise to all of you. You are my witnesses. I hope Zach and Ike will, uh, will one day dare to debate a skilled Christian apologist like us. Right? At least an Arabic speaker, right? At least an Arabic speaker like me or Christian Prince. I will force him to do the monkey dance. That's my vow. I took a vow, guys. If I don't do it in five minutes, then I will delete my YouTube channel. Five minutes. I will give him five minutes. Just one question. Liar! Where is Uncle Jamal, man? We need Uncle Jamal from Speaker's Corner. Liar! Feiruz! Liar! Liar! Mohammed um, Jibril, no, no, my friend. You know, I understand that Christian Prince has a very limited time, you know? but I'm trying to, you know, do something different, right? Uh, I understand. I, I don't have the, the same uh, amount of viewers that Christian Prince has, right? Uh, so we, we have at the moment 311 people watching. So, you know, 
maybe later, if it's going to be really, really uh, crowded, more crowded, and if God will bless uh, our ministry more and more and we'll get more viewers, maybe then we have, we, maybe we are forced to only accept Muslim calls. But as long we can do this and allow Christians to call us, why not? You are my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, man. Of course, uh, if, if you know, why would I only allow uh, Muslims to call us, guys? Come on, I love you guys. I, and it's a blessing to talk to you live on air. It's, it's an honor to talk to my brothers and sisters live on air. You know, and we always get uh, many uh, calls from many dear brothers like Islam Critiqued, Colin, bless him, bless his ministry, uh, Sister Vanessa, many, many, many people, you know. Amazing calls, man. It's a blessing to be with you guys. It's an honor. So guys, <clears throat> if, you, if you were here last time, we discussed this that you see on the screen. In chapter Al-Baqarah, guys, you see it? Let us go back to the, to the topic. Do we have any Muslim, by the way, before we continue? Any Muslim? Admins, do we have Muslims? Um, no, uh, I don't want Allah to bless me because if Satan, Allah, is going to bless me, then I'm going to be a non-Christian, man. So no, I don't want the blessing of Satan, man. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, any, any Muslim? Admins, are there Muslims who wants to call? Maybe I don't always pay attention to the live chat when I'm teaching. Any any Muslims? Any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to call us? There are Muslims, Trinity Productions saying Rob Christian, there are Muslims, but they would not dare. Story of my life, brother. Story of my life. Muslims are scared. Guys, let me let me go back to my topic. Okay? Stop interrupting you evil Christians. <laughs> no, guys, I love you. Let us continue. <laughs> Let us continue. In chapter Al-Baqarah, guys. In chapter Al-Baqarah, the chapter of the cow. Any cow? Yeah, the chapter of the cow, Al-Baqarah. The name of Abraham, do you see it? Ibrahim. Ibrahim. In chap on the whole chapter of Al-Baqarah, it's written without... Without an E. Do you see it here? Do you see this letter? It's missing. So Allah, we need to ask Allah, Allah, can you at least, can you at least be consistent? You claim to be God and this is a name. Uh, for example, uh, we have, let's say, Rina, Rina CP, our dear sister Rina CP that you see here. Can I write Rina like this? Can I write her name like this? No, it's her name. It's a name for God's sake. Uh, we have Mr. Arun, a dear brother here. Mr. Arun. Can I not write Mr. Arun like this? No, it's his name. It's a name. Can I change someone's name like this? Play with someone's name? Allah, you claim to be God in the Quran, but you are changing, playing with somebody's name. And this is, this is the Abraham, man. So in the whole chapter of Al-Baqarah, Allah is writing the name of Abraham like this, Abraham, 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 no brother, his name is Ibrahim, Abraham, right, Ibrahim in the Arabic. So in the rest of the 113 chapters, in the rest of the 113 chapters, it's written like this, Ibrahim. Right? But in chapter of the cow, it's written like this, Ibrahim. So Allah, can you pick your cherries, Allah? We should ask Allah to go back to school and maybe, you know, get the name of Abraham correct, man, in the Quran. A liar! Okay, let me show you that I'm not lying, you idiot. Here is the Quran, let me prove it to you. Guys, this is the same Al-Baqarah, do you see it? Al-Baqarah, the chapter of the cow. For example, chapter 2, do you see it? One. Two, seven. Chapter 2, 127, Ayah 127, let me give you the link. Guys, please focus and take screenshots. Let me give you the link so you can check it out yourself. Check it out, brother. Check it out. You see here? Ibrahim, do you see it? But it's written without an E. Do you see? Missing E. Like I said, do you see? Without an E, here with an E. This is chapter of the cow. Do you see it? So here it's written like 
this without an E. E is missing. This is chapter Al-Baqarah. And now we told you, in the whole chapter Al-Baqarah, it's written like this without an E, missing E. Do you see it? But if we go, so here, guys, take a screenshot. You see it? It's written without an E. If we go to chapter 3, right? Remember, the rest of the chapters, chapter 3, I 33, it's written like this. Watch. Let me give you this link too, and you can compare it yourselves. It's written like this. Ah, you see the E? This this word, uh, the letter here. Do you see the letter? Ibrahim with an E. Do you see it? This letter here that I'm, uh, you know, circling. Do you see it? This letter here. So I only took screenshots. Do you see it? Here, in the rest of the chapters, it's written with an E. But in the whole chapter of Al-Baqarah, it's written without an E. So Allah is illiterate. Exactly. Uh, someone is saying, I thought that the Quran was perfect. No, it's not. You, and the proof is in front of you, brother. Didn't I say that we were going to drop bombs? Didn't I promise you that? We're going to drop nuclear bombs on the face of Allah and the fake prophet of Islam. And all the Muslim their faces because they claim that the Quran is perfectly preserved. But wait, we see changes in the so-called perfectly preserved Quran. Changes. No, uh, Tommy too. No, no, don't make that mistake. Don't make that mistake. In Islam, you don't have anything called Abraham and Ibrahim, right? Like in the in the Bible. No, his name is Ibrahim. Raj, what a, guys, put on your headsets. They, you know, they had to fix. You see, with vowels. Look how how it's spelled. Uh, how they they call his name. So he's without an e, but they they recite it as an e. Watch, guys, put on your headset. Listen. Ibrahim. Ibrahimu, Ibrahim, right? Depends, you know, if we remove the vowel, it's only for the sound. Do you hear it? Ibrahimu. Do you hear it? Ibrahimu. You, you hear the E on the in the end? Ibrahimu. But there is no E. Did you catch it? They are reciting it with an E, but there is no E. Watch. Here it's with an E. Here, hear it, guys. Hear carefully, focus. Ibrahima. See? So with the vowel, it changed the, the last, but forget about the vowel. We are talking about the E. Do you hear it? The same. They recited the same. Ibrahim. You hear it? Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Again, here with an E, they are reciting it with an E while there is no E. So no, uh, don't, guys, uh, be smarter, right? In, in, in Islam, there's nothing called Abraham or Abraham, right? When God changed his name, Sarai, his wife was Sarai, it became Sarah. No. They, in Islam, they don't have that, all right? Don't be fooled by the Muslims. So, you hear, you hear it again. Ibrahimu. Do you see it? He, he. Ibrahimu. So there is no E, but they recited with an E. You liars, you evil liars. And here, it's with an E, and they recited with an E. Ibrahima. Different chapters, different ayahs, right? Ibrahim. He, do you hear it? He, watch on, uh, you know, watch carefully for the E. Ibrahim. Do you hear it? Ibrahim. So, so both, they recited both with an E, but there's no E. <laughs> oh, man. So Allah made a typo. Can Allah call himself God and make a typo? No. Do you see it? Allah cannot be God, man. Allah cannot make mistakes. This is a name. This is a name. I cannot play with the... Uh, uh, last time we, we played with Romeo, Romeo D'Amelio. Romeo, his name is this, right? Can I be, call myself God? Can I call myself God as Allah? And write his name later like this instead? No, his name is Romeo. It's a name. You cannot play with names, man. Especially not the name of Abraham. Man. It's, it's, this is Abraham that you're playing with. Yes, exactly, Karyan. God should not make mistakes if you claim to be God like this. Allah is limited. Yes, Allah is limited. Allah, you know, Allah is, cannot be God. So Allah is uh, playing, you know, with the name of, uh, of Abraham. And this is one example that we gave you last time, right? That's, I don't want to go too much deep because we don't have many Arabic speakers here. 
I don't want uh, to give you another headache, right? So we'll make it easy today, right? I'm, I'm trying to, to go to take a different route. For example, right? Because the topic of today, Muslims corrupted the Quran by their own hands. And let me show you how they are corrupting it by using false translations, right? No, he doesn't know Arabic, my friend. Allah does not know Arabic because if Allah knows Arabic, you should not make such mistakes, uh, Jesus King. The all-knowing, but the only knows Arabic. He doesn't know Arabic because if Allah claims to know Arabic, he should not play with people's games, uh, with the Muslims like this, like uh, games. This is games. You claim to be God and you claim that your Quran is perfect Arabic, but we see changes all the time, all the time, changes, fixing. So no. Right? Uh, are there Muslims? Are there Muslims? Before we continue, are there Muslims? Any Muslim? <clears throat> is there any Muslim? No Muslims. Okay. Well, that's sad. <laughs> that is sad. Muslims cannot defend Allah and his uh, and their fake prophet. So we should ask Allah and his prophet to go back to Arabic school and learn Arabic again. Retake their Arabic exams, right? So Muslims need to help Allah. Guys, here. Muslims need to help Allah fixing the Quran of Allah with their own hands. In the English translation, for example, right? Watch. Here it says, اتَّخَدُوا أَحْبَارَهُمْ وَرُهْبَانَهُمْ أَرْبَابَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ وَالْمَسِيحَ Right? That's what the Arabic says. Now, if we read it like this, they have taken their scholars and monks as lords beside Allah and also the Messiah. Do you see how they are playing with the translation here? Do you see it? They are fixing what the Quran does not say. Where is the word also? And, and, and where is the, this, this comma here in the Arabic text? No, it says they have taken their scholars and monks as lords instead of Allah and the Messiah. Wa al Masih. Allahi wa al Masih. Allah and the Messiah. Did you see it? So here they are fixing, fixing what Allah does not say. Doing bid'ah, changing the Quran with their own hands. Didn't we say that Muslims corrupt the Quran with their own hands? Do you see it? Do you see how they are playing games with the Quran? They are using the Quran of Allah as toilet paper, man. The Quran in the hands of Muslims became toilet paper. Yeah, Abduls are triggered and we already have 14 dislikes. That's good. I like dislikes, man. That means we are doing a good job, man. So Allah, his Quran became toilet paper in the hands of the Abduls. Exactly. I mean, why do you need to fix the Quran of Allah, man? Do you have any shame, Muslims, when you translate? Do you have any shame? Let us look for another translation. They have taken their rabbis, ahbarahum. This one says rabbis, scholars. Okay, we can go with that. They have taken their rabbis and their monks as lords apart from God and the Messiah. This is more close. So do you see who are the lords? Who are the lords? You know, here I will give you, guys, I will give you this Arbery idiot here. It's close, but it's still not good. Why? Because there's nothing called God here. It's Allah. God in Arabic, remember, we taught you that, means ilah, right? Remember? God means ilah in Arabic. Allah is the name of this ilah, right? Of this God. So do you see guys? Do you see how they are playing in the translation with the Quran of Allah using it as toilet paper? Do you see it? So they are playing with the Quran, corrupting the Quran in the translation. So where is the word ilah? I only see Allah here. Where is the word ilah? Where is the word ilah? JKD. I challenge you to call me and show me that I'm an idiot. Let's see who is the real idiot, you or me. If you can refute me, I will close my YouTube channel. 
I will delete my YouTube channel. Is that a good challenge, guys? JKD, you idiot. No, the idiot is you and your prophet. And the Muslims who use the Quran of Allah as toilet paper, playing with it like toilet paper, wiping their asses with the Quran of Allah. Because why are you doing bid'ah, reforming, changing the Quran with your own hands? The Quran became toilet paper in the hands of the Muslims. Very filthy Quran. Because how dare you to play with the Quran of Allah, man? Where is the word ilah? It's Allah. Do you see how the, how, how the corruption takes place, guys? Do you see how the cor corruption in the Quran takes place? Yeah, this translation, right? Translation. Yeah, and we don't try to insult any real, uh, you know, don donkeys are smart, you know. But, you know, Muslims, you're lying. Mr. Perfect, call me, call me. Mr. Perfect, if you think I'm lying and you think you can refute me, call me. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Call me. My Skype is open, man. Call me. Uh, yeah, Muhammadan. Call me, call me. I mean, it's so easy to call someone idiot, call him a liar, but prove it. Prove me wrong. Show everybody that Rob Christian is lying, man. Thank you super, uh, for the super chat, Rory. Rob Christian, don't take a vow because Jesus said not to. Mm, yeah. Um, <clears throat> any Muslim? No, this is Hafs, guys. This is Hafs Quran. This is the Hafs Quran. We are not talking even now. We will go there. Guys, we have enough time to go there. I know that Christian Prince will be live in one hour and 20 minutes. So we have enough time to go there. Guys, we are not done, okay? So you see how they are playing with the Quran using as toilet paper in the translation, right? Playing with it. No, it says they have taken their scholars and monks as lords beside Allah and the Messiah. So here, who are the real lords? Here, the real lords are Allah plus the Messiah, right? The Messiah, do you see that Jesus, who they call Jesus, Isa, they are the lords. So Muslims, why don't you worship Isa? Because he is together with Allah as lords. Arbaban, the lords. So they are worshiping their scholars and monks instead of Allah and the Messiah. So Muslims, why don't you worship Jesus that you call Isa? Because here they are the lords. Allah and the Messiah. Muslims, why don't you worship Jesus, man? I, I'm asking you a very sincere question. According to this ayah, Allah and, and uh, Al-Masih, Allah and Al-Masih, wa means, wa, guys, wa means and, right? And the Messiah. So why are you not worshiping Allah and the Messiah as lords? Huh? Any Muslim? Wa, yeah, wa means and. Wa, this tiny letter here means end, that is highlighted, it means end. So who are the lords, who are the Arbaban? Those are Al-Masih and Allah. I want to know the one million dollar question, Muslims. I want to know why you don't worship Isa besides Allah, because according to chapter 9, ayah 31, you have to worship Isa. He is the Al-Masih, right? I want to know, I want an answer for my question. The one million dollar question. Why do you Muslims not worship Isa al-Masih together with Allah? Because he is the Lord's besides Allah. Any answer? Any answer from a Muslim, a Shaykh, an Ustaz, an Imam, any answer? I want an answer for my question, Muslims. No answer. Allahu alam. Allah knows best. Yeah. Allah knows best why Jesus, Al Masih, and Allah are the Lords. Right? You see it? Who are the Lords in this ayah? Allah and the Messiah. Allah and the Messiah. Allah and the Messiah. Shirk 101. Blasphemy 101 in the Quran. 
Chapter 48, another example. Chapter 48, Surah Al-Fatih, Ayah 9. Chapter 48, Ayah 9. If you read it in the Arabic, لِتُؤْمِنِ بِاللَّهِ لِتُؤْمِنِ بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَتُعَزِّرُهُ وَتُوَقِّرُهُ وَتُسَبِّحُهُ بُكْرَةً وَأَصِيلًا now, if you're going to translate it literally as it is, not with, you know, look at this text, compare this entire text with this one. You see how they are doing bid'ah here, changing, playing with the Quran like it's toilet paper. Look, brackets everywhere, brother, playing and playing. Why are you playing with the Quran of Allah Muslims? You see, this is nothing but corruption of the Quran, right? Cor corruption 101. Anyway, so you have to believe Allah, guys. Please take notes. Chapter 48, ayah 9. You have to believe Allah, okay, and His Rasul. You have to believe in Allah and His Rasul, and you have to assist Him, assist who in battle, guys. Question Muslims, question Who do you have to assist in battle when, let's say, the companions of Muhammad? Who should who did they assist in battle? Muhammad, right. Allah does not need assistance. So Muhammad, yes? So you have to assist him in battle. You have to respect Muhammad and you have to glorify. You have to tasbih, do tasbih. What to sabbihuhu. Muslims always say Subhanallah, glory to Allah, right? Subhan Allah. Here we see that it's Subhan, Subhan Muhammad. Did you catch it? Yes, uh, Rory. Rory says so many Muslims will become Christians because of Quran chapter 9, ayah 31. Exactly. Exactly, my friend. So you have to become a Christian and worship Al Messiah together with uh, Allah. Right? Let's, if you want to say Allah, let's say, guys, be political. If you claim that Allah is the Father and uh, Al Messiah is the Son, this is why you have to worship Him. Yes, exactly. Rook. Al Messiah, Allah, wa Al Messiah. Exactly. So you have to do subhan tasbih to Muhammad too. So how many gods are there? The Lord's here. We can let us add guys. Allah plus Al Masih, Jesus, and Muhammad. Those are the Lords. If, uh, we just read two ayahs for you, right? So you have to glorify Muhammad every morning and evening. Here, look how they are adding, guys. This is the name of Allah, right? Billahi. Look here in the false translation, corruption of the Quran. Here they are using Allah. And again, Allah, I will give you $10,000, Muslims, I will give you $10,000 if you can show me the name of Allah twice, as mentioned here in the translation. Can you show it at me, to me in the Arabic? No. You see, Allah's name is only here, once. So why are you adding, doing bid'ah, corrupt the Quran, using it as toilet paper, and on top of that, you are adding more stuff, which is not there. You see, this is the topic of today, the Quran corrupted by Muslim hands, right? So you see how Muslims are using the Quran as toilet paper, guys? Muslims are using the Quran of Allah like toilet paper. Keep doing that. I love that, Muslims. I love you to keep using the Quran as toilet paper. Playing with it as it is toilet paper, man. Wiping your ass with it. With the Quran. Maybe you should also flush the Quran through the toilet to finish the job, man. Noah says in the super chat, thank you, my friend. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. The name above all names. Please, Muslims, leave Islam. Come back home. To Jesus. Uh, Victor... Onaika saying, Rob Christian, she, she, he, Victor, is asking Rob Christian, please, is Muhammad referred as holy in the Arabic text? No. No. We already played a video last time, guys. Muhammad is not holy. The Quran is not holy. It's not my topic, guys, but let me, you know, let me help this gentleman out. Just a second, okay? Let me play the video for you. Let's see if I can find it. Just a second, guys. Just a second, okay? I hope I can find it easily because I have tons of videos and sometimes it's so hard to find even my own videos. Let's see if we can find it for you. Oh, man. 
I have so many videos, man. It's sometimes so hard to find something that you... Okay. I think I got it. Just a second. Just a second, okay, guys? Give me give me time to do this. Okay. Let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. Well, guys, this is the video that I want to play for you. Okay. Okay. Watch, guys. Uh, this is my answer to your question, okay? This is my answer to your question, my friend. Victor, I hope you are... Are you with me, Victor? Victor, are you with me? Give me one if you are with me, my friend. Victor, are you there, bro? Because I'm going to answer your question. Victor, give me one, please. So that, so I, so that I know that you are there. Is Victor still here, guys? You you asked me a question, my friend. I want to ask you a question, so I hope that you're listening. Victor, is Victor gone, guys? Victor, are you there? Victor, I don't. Please, my friend. Uh, you you ask me a question. I know, guys. I don't want to waste my time, to be honest with you. You know. You're asking me a question. I want to provide and serve. Where's Victor now? Suddenly Victor is gone. He's gone. People, man. Anyway, let me play it anyway. It's evening. So in this part two, we will continue this series. So if you like this video, please smash the like button and let us start part two. Watch. Of miracles. Ahmed Idad. I have read to you a verse from the Holy Quran. Abdul, there is no such thing called the Holy Quran. The you Quran hear? in Islam is unholy. Yes, you heard it correctly. The Quran in Arabic is called Al Quran Al Karim, the noble Quran. Let me pray for you a video. From a Sunni Sheikh who will rebuke and destroy Ahmadidat when Ahmadidat said the Quran is holy. No, there is no such thing called holy prophet. Okay, or Victor, watch holy Quran. Let me play watch. the video for you. No such thing as holy Quran. Did you hear it? You will not, holy in Arabic means muqaddas. Muqaddas. Holy in Arabic muqaddas. means muqaddas. Have you ever came across an ayah in the book of Allah where Allah says Al-Quran Al-Muqaddas? No. Ever came in a narration? No. No. And as mentioned before, there's no such thing as Holy Quran. Correct. <laughs> we don't have anything in Islam called Holy Quran. In Christianity, you have Holy Father, yes. Holy because Son, Because our God is Holy. holy your Ghost, God is not Holy. Holy Bible. <laughs> but in Islam, we don't have Do Holy see? Prophet, Holy Quran, and Holy other things. Have you heard you have anything in Islam? Watch. Called Holy Quran. In Christianity, you have Holy Father, Holy Son, Holy Ghost, Holy Bible. But in Islam, we don't have Holy Prophet. Did you hear it? We don't have Holy Prophet. So that means if your Quran is not holy, your Prophet is not holy. That means your Quran is unholy. It's from Satan. Your Prophet is from Satan because he's unholy. Thank you. So mean, that means Muhammad is the prophet of Satan. Yes, you heard it correctly. I mean, this is a sheikh, Sunni sheikh. This is a Sunni sheikh confirming it. Thing as holy Quran. We don't have anything in Islam called holy Quran. In Christianity, you have holy father, holy son, holy ghost, holy Bible. But in Islam, we don't have holy prophet. We don't holy have. Holy Quran and the holy other things. Have you? <laughs> no holy prophet, no holy Quran. What's left? Guys, what is left? That means Islam is unholy, Allah is unholy, Muhammad is unholy, the Quran is unholy. We can throw it in the toilet. You see it? Let me give you the link, guys. I made this video a couple months ago. Let me give you the link, save it. Save it guys, whenever a Muslim calls Muhammad holy prophet, put this video in his face in your debate. Smash him with it. 
let me give you the link again. All right, this is the link to this video. I hope, I hope you are satisfied with my answer, brother. That's my answer to you. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yeah, we have a honor. Yeah, exactly, Rory. Thank you for the super chat. This is a honest Sunni Sheikh, Sunni Imam, who is honest that there is nothing called holy in Islam. You don't have holy Quran. It's unholy Quran. It's unholy prophet. Exactly. Thank you for the super chat. God bless you. See you uh, later, my friend. Thank you for being here. Bam! Exactly. The unholy prophet, the unholy Quran. So guys, do you see how they are playing? Look what they are doing. They are adding and adding and playing and using the Quran as their toilet paper. Cleaning their asses with it. Adding and playing with it. Where is all this text in here? Look, those are a couple words, man. Why are you, why are you adding? Adding to the Quran. Why? Let me find a more closer, closer translation. Do you see suddenly much... Lesser text. <laughs> so that you may believe in Allah. Again, this is, again, bid'ah. Do you see it? There's nothing called God here, man. Remember, the word God in Islam, in Arabic, it means ilah. Where is the word ilah? Watch. Where is the word ilah? It says bilahi. 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 Watch. Bilahi. Do you see it? So where is the word ilah? Nowhere. So here this guy is doing bid'ah again. This Arbery guy. Doing bid'ah, playing again with the Quran because there is nothing called God in this in the Arabic text. It's Allah, right? Allah. Billahi. So you have to believe in Allah, not God, not ilah, and his messenger. And you have to assist him in battle. You have to reverence him. And you have to glorify who? The Rasul Muhammad because he's the last person and you have to assist him. You have to honor or respect him and you have to do tasbih to him. You have to glorify Muhammad every morning and evening. So we, how many gods are there in Islam guys? We have Allah, we have the Al-Masih chapter 9, 31. We have chapter 48, ayah 9, Muhammad being Lord too. Right? So we have a th at least three gods in Islam. Al-Masih, Allah, and Muhammad. If this is not pagan, that I don't know what pagan means, man. If this is not pagan, that I don't know what pagan means. Surprise, surprise, Muslim. Surprise, surprise. Any Muslim who wants to defend Islam? Eugene, thank you uh, for your message, but please don't send me messages, guys, okay? Because you have no idea. My Skype is spammed already. Please don't send me messages, all right? Stay in the live chat. Don't send me a message through Skype. I, I respect your message. Thank you. But you are spamming me, basically, because I get a lot of spam, all right? So help me to help you. Don't send me messages. Only if it's important. <clears throat> Uh, any Muslim? No Muslim. You can call me on Skype, man. Come on. Another example, guys. Another example. Chapter 9, Ayah 30. Chapter 9, Surah At-Tawbah, Ayah 30. The Jews say, وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ The Jews say, okay, Ezra is the son of Allah. Uh oh, wait, 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 Use the break. Alright. Where's the word Ezra? Uh, Abdul, why are you using the Quran of Allah as, uh, as toilet paper, man? Where is the word Ezra? Can you show it in here? I want to, to see the word Ezra in Arabic. I'm an Arabic speaker, guys. I want to find the word Ezra. I will give you, Muslims, I will give you a thousand dollars if you can show me the word Ezra in the Arabic. Is that a good deal, guys? I mean, it sounds like a good deal, right? 
Can you show me the word, the name Ezra here in the Arabic? I will give you a thousand dollar if you can show me the name Ezra in the Arabic. Yes, it's safe to call me on Skype. I will not bite. If you don't want me to bite, I will not bite, man. So if you think you can defend the Quran of Allah, Allah himself and the Prophet, call me. If you think you have the courage and the knowledge. My Skype is open, man. Call me. So there is no Ezra. Exactly. You see how they are using the Quran of Allah like toilet paper again? Playing with it? Remember, this is the topic. The Quran corrupted by Muslim hands. That's the topic of today, right? If we go to the Arabic, it says, وَقَالَتِ الْيَهُودُ Uzair, Uzair. The name is Uzair. How, how did Uzair become Ezra? How did Uzair become Ezra? I want to know. Muslims, I want to know how Uzair became Ezra. I want to know. I want to understand this. Maybe I'm stupid. Maybe I'm dumb. Teach me how Uzair became Ezra. Now if you go to other translations, let's see. This is Ahmed Ali. Do you see it? Ahmed Ali. Let us go to other translations. What does this one says? Ah! Here, there, they are honest here. Do you see it? And the Jews said, Uzair is the son of Allah. Did you catch it? So here, they are not using taqiyya. They are not playing. But here, this Abdul, the other one, but at the same time, they do still uh, use it as, uh, as toilet paper. Why, Rob Christian? Because here, I will give you, Muslims, Muslims, are you listening? I will give you another thousand dollar if you can show me the word Christians in the Arabic. Another thousand dollar. I will give you a thousand dollar if you can show me the word Christians in the Arabic here. No, the word is Al Nasara. Al Nasara. But wait, Muslims. This is the ignorance of Muhammad again. Yes, you heard it. Ignorance of Muhammad, Rabb Krishna. Yes, watch. The ignorance and lies of Islam. Watch, guys. I hope you can take a screenshot. Take a screenshot, please. Take a selfie. <laughs> take a screenshot. And use this against the Muslims in the court of law. Why, Rabb Krishna? Here is why. Here is the ignorance of Muhammad and the ignorance of the Muslims. Today, how Rob Christian here? When I, as an Arabic speaking Christian, say, "Ana Masihi," that means I am a Christian. I am a follower of Christ. Did you catch it? Ana Masihi. I am not a Nasrani. Yes, Nasara are not Christians. Masihiyin or Masihiyun. That's the way to say it. Ana Masihi. Abi, my father is Masihi. My father, Abi, who a Masihi. Ana Masihi, Ibn Masihi. I'm a Christian son of a Christian. Ana Masihi, Ibn Masihi. I'm a Christian son of a Christian. How did the word Christian... <laughs> became Nasara? You see how they are using the Quran of Allah like toilet paper, guys? Why are you not putting Nasara here? Why are you using Christians, you idiots? Do you see how Muslims are playing with the Quran? Yeah, Nasara are not longer with us. Muhammad destroyed them. I kid you not. Muhammad annihilated them. He decimated them. Right? We are Christians. We are Masihiyin. Masihiyun. You see how they are playing with the Quran of Allah? Right? Take, take a, a screenshot, man. So Muslims, you need to leave Islam because the Quran that you use is lying to you. We are not Nasara, my friends. Your Bible is corrupted. No, you idiot. You and your prophet and your Quran are corrupted. Prove me wrong. Bob, Bob, if you have the courage to call me live on air, do it. Refute me, brother. But... Make sure to say insha'Allah three times, do wudu ten times, right? And then call me because you never know, right? Because Rob Christian, you said uh, many Muslims already said, Rob Christian, you shaitan. Because, remember, I'm a shaitan. So make sure to say insha'Allah three times, 
do wudu 10 times and then call me. So Allah can help you, brother. You come pure, brother, you become pure. You know, uh, you, you can call me and uh, shaitan has no power over you, brother. Because Allah in the Quran said, shaitan has no power over his servants, over his uh, slaves, brother. So do it 10 times, say inshallah three times, then call me, brother. Yalla, ya coward. Yalla, yalla. My friend, Jesus has nothing to do with this. Bob, Bob, you idiot. Jesus has nothing to do with this. Stick, stick with the topic. Stick with the topic. Jesus has nothing to do with this. Call me and refute me. You joker. Coward, man. You're a coward. Like your imams and shiuch. They have no courage to call us live on air. Because they know what will happen to them. Right? I took a vow, guys. If a Muslim can refute me, I will delete my YouTube channel. Right here, right now. We are live on air. Prove me wrong. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Do you see, guys, how they are playing? And this actually at the same time proves that Muhammad was an ignoramus. Muhammad had no idea what the difference is between Nasara and the Christians, right? Nasara were a heretical sect, right? A very, very evil sect. Muhammad destroyed them together with the Jews of Medina. He burned the, 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 the trees. He burned and cut the trees of the Jews of Bani Nadir. And Muslims always say, Muhammad never cut down a tree. You liars. So Muhammad destroyed them and he destroyed the Jews in Medina, right? Completely annihilated them. Like a cult mafia leader. And Nasara weren't Christians, exactly. Because a Christian, as I explained, a Christian is a Masihi. Ana Masihi. Ana Masihi ibn Masihi. I'm a Christian, son of a Christian. So who is, what, are, you, are you a Nasrani? No, I'm not a Nasrani. What is, what is a Nasrani? They don't exist anymore, right? Because Muhammad destroyed them. He wiped them out. This proves, this proves that Muhammad had no idea about real Christians, right? Muhammad confused the Nasara with the actual Christians, right? And a Masihi, exactly, you are a Masihi. Do you see it? You're a follower of Christ. Al-Masih. Masihi. Did you catch it? Al-Masih. Masihi. Ana Masihi. I'm a Christian. This is why we always say, Al-Masih qam. Haqqan qam. The Messiah is risen. He's truly risen. Right? I always use that in my prayer. Right? In the beginning. Ana Masihi. I'm a follower of Christ. The name above all names. See how they are playing, guys? You see how they are using the Quran of Allah as toilet paper? Right? You see it? I don't, guys, I'm not going to go into the, to the eye itself because, you know, I have a very, very specific topic today. I'm not going, I'm not going to, you know, show you how Muslims curse, repeat the curses of Allah on the Jews and the Christians. You see? Because the Christians and the, and the Jews, they call Uzair the son of Allah. That's what the Jews do. And the Christians, they call us Nasara. We are not Ansara. We call the Messiah the son of Allah. May Allah destroy them. So see how they are repeating the curses of Allah on us when they recite chapter 1. You see it? Chapter 1, ayah 7. Remember when we talked about Daud Kim and Sa'ido, Rashido? When they are cursing their mother that delivered them on this very earth. Imagine, man. They repeat the curses of Allah on the Jews and the Christians. Right? May Allah destroy them. See it? May Allah destroy the Jews and the Christians. God bless you too, Frau. We're only here to serve, guys. We are here for the truth and only the truth. Uh, yeah, any Muslim, uh, Nasser, are you a Muslim? Call me. Nasser, if you are a Muslim, call me. If you are a Christian, you are not allowed to call me yet. Okay? <clears throat> I have no idea. I, I can't say from your name if you are a Christian or not. Sorry. I'm not trying to insult you if you, if you are a Christian. Okay? Alchemist, alchemist. Call me alchemist.
I blocked you. Uh, I, have a, I have a good reason why I blocked you, man. Let's see if I can remove the block. I'll give you a chance, okay? Let's see. Let me go to the block list. I don't block people for no reason, okay? Let's see if I... Uh, <clears throat> how do I do that? Man? How do I unblock people? Uh, oh, yeah. Blocked context. What's your name there? What's your name there, uh, gamer? What's your, what's your Skype ID there? What's your Skype ID? Uh, what's your Skype ID? I'll remove you so you can call me. Gamer, gamer. What's your Skype ID? Where, what's your Skype ID? I'll remove you from the block list. You can call me then. I'll give you another chance. Don't waste my time, please. Say, Give me your Skype ID. Uh, Amen, Amen Al Ghazaz. Uh, it's very easy to download Skype. It will take you one minute. You can do it on your smartphone. Put your uh, Gmail account or your Hotmail account or whatever email you use, and you can use it. You see now? Uh, are you now scared? You see? You see these tactics? Gamer wants to call me, but he doesn't want to give me his Skype ID so I can remove him from the block list. Are you wasting my time, man? Are you wasting my time? See, and now he's silent for Sabil Allah. You see, you see the tactics, guys? Wasting our time. Give me the Skype ID. I have many, I have many people on the block list, man, who cannot behave. So I don't know what your, uh, what your Skype ID is. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not all knowing like your Allah. <clears throat> No, you, I don't, Nasser, if you call me, I will not see your email address. I will only see your name. So don't be a coward, man. Come on. Don't be scared. I'm not going, uh, I'm not going to see your, uh, you don't, you will not see my email address too. So don't be, don't be scared, man. I'm not going to bite you. I'm a Christian, man. We don't kill anyone, like in Islam. Osman, Osman, call me Osman. My Skype ID is the Europe Christian. I'm still waiting, man. Okay, guys, this guy's a coward. He's only here to play games. Okay, forget about him. Okay, let us continue, guys. You're a coward, man. You're here to play games. This is why your name is Gamer, right? Idiot. Please, man, I want to call you. But he's not answering. Evil son of Satan. Anyway, so we, we showed you the ignus of Muhammad calling us Nasara while we are not Nasara, right? We are not Nasara. You put your money where your mouth is, brother. Exactly. See, Muhammad confused us with Nasara. We are not Masara. I and I'm a Messihi. Yeah, yeah, Ibn Ammi, and I'm a Messihi. Why are you confusing me with a Nasrani? I'm not a Nasrani, you idiot. Bob Bob. Bob Bob is saying, how come Jesus prayed and ate? Okay. Bob. Because you're a coward, you're not going to call me, but I'm going to answer your question anyway. Watch. Give me a second, okay? I'm going to, I, I'm going to answer your question. I'm going to answer your question. Just give me a second. Let me go to the Bible, guys. I'm going to answer his question. Watch. Now, uh, I have a question, uh, uh, Abdul. Abdul, Bob, Bob, you ask me a question? Are you there? Give me one of you there, Bob. You see, guys, we're not scared. We are not scared to answer questions, right? Bob, Bob, give me one of you there. You're there? Okay, good. Okay, since you're talking about Jesus praying here, this is Matthew 26, 39. Before we, before we answer your question, Mr. Bob, when you pray, to who do you pray? Bob, you're a Muslim. When you pray in your prayers, to who do you pray? Bob. Mr. Bob, Bob. When you pray, to who? You pray to Allah. Great. Great. You pray to Allah. Is Allah Father? Bob, is, your, is Allah your Father? Is Allah your Father? When you pray, do you pray and call Him your Father? No. Thank you. Now watch. When Jesus prayed, what He said? And he went a little farther, 
Jesus, and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, Jesus is saying. So when you pray as a Muslim and you pray to Allah, do you call him father? You said no, but Jesus is calling God his father. You see that you are an idiot? This actually proves that Jesus is spanking Allah because Allah is not the same God because Allah is not father, but our holy God of the Bible is father. So you just got spanked. Jesus himself spanked your prophet. Your prophet is nothing but a fake prophet. And when Jesus was praying, he was praying to the father, his own father. Do you see it? So our God is not Allah and Allah is a fake dead idol. Thank you. Guys, give this Bob Bob, give him a salutation guys. Give him a clap in the, in the live chat. Give him a clap. Congratulations, man. Thank you for mentioning this because now we just used your own argument against you and your fake prophet in the court of law. Give him a, an applaud, guys. Give him an applaud. He just owned and spanked his own prophet. Congratulations, man. Thank you for proving to us that your Allah is Satan. It's a different God. You worship a different God than our God because our God is Father. Your God is not Father. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you see guys, guys, please, I hope you took notes. Whenever a Muslim asks you a question about Jesus, especially this topic, use their argument against them in the court of law. So please learn how to debate and learn how not to debate a Muslim. Whenever a Muslim opens his mouth, use his own argument against him and his prophet in a court of law. Learn Christians, learn, to take notes, learn. Right? Uh, Bob, Bob, you had your chance. Sit down, you just spanked your own prophet and you prove to us that your Allah is no one else than Satan. Right? Uh, Rais Khan, Rais Khan, do you have Skype? I challenge you to call me live on air. My Skype ID is the Rob Christian. Call me on Skype. Let us have a nice respectful discussion. Let's see if you are a real Muslim. All right? So guys, this has nothing to do with my topic, but anyway, you see how easy it is to spank these idiots. Now guys, since we don't have any callers, let us continue, okay? Because Muslims are cowards, let us continue. I want to play a small video f for you guys, all right? I want to play a small video for you. So let's see if I can find that video. Yeah, okay, I think I got it. All right. I want to play this video for you. All right, I want to play a video for you. This is a Sunni Muslim that you see here. And this video is uploaded by a very dear brother of mine. Right, he has a YouTube channel. I hope he's here. Maybe we can, we can help him out. You can subscribe to his YouTube channel. Let me give you the link. So you can help him out. He's a dear brother of mine. He's an Arabic speaking Christian. He's doing an amazing job. So I just gave you the link. Please subscribe and help this brother out. He's an amazing guy. So let me play the video clip and see how Muslims, even Muslims are honest. This is a Muslim Sunni that you see here. They are honest about the fact that Muslims destroy the Quran, that they are using it as toilet paper. He is going to be honest and he's going to show you his frustration when Muslims play with the Quran. Watch. Put on your headsets, guys, and watch. This is a Sunni Muslim talking. Mistakes! Mistakes! 
Look what he's saying, guys. Did you catch what he said? He says, I am really, I am really disgusted, right? He's, he's a Sunni Muslim, right? From Egypt. He says, I'm really disgusted that I see, I see Muslims, they are destroying the Quran with their own hands. Right? That's what he's saying. It bothers him. Do you see it? It bothers him. It bothers me. How did this happen? Guys, did you catch what he said? He says, how is it possible that Al-Azhar, right, the number one university that wrote the Quran of, in 1924, the Hafs Quran, and they throw their old Qurans in the Nile River, remember, he is bothered how they are actually giving them permission to play with the Quran. Look, let me go a little bit. This is really important stuff what he's saying, right? It bothered him. Much. It bothers me. Azhar, how did this happen under the supervision of Al-Azhar? He's, he's a Sunni Muslim, do you see it? A Sunni Muslim is being honest and he's bothered, he's disgusted that Al-Azhar are allowing Muslims when they translate the Quran, they are using the Quran of Allah as toilet paper as we showed you earlier, right? They are playing with the Quran like it's toilet paper. They're wiping the Quran of Allah with their asses. He's a Muslim. Arabic, Egyptian, exactly. They are, they are corrupting the Quran. Do you see it? Corrupting. And supported by Allah, the corruption is supported by Allah. We can corrupt as we want, yeah, corrupt the Quran as we want. Corrupting, corrupting the Quran. They are going to give an example, watch. Chapter 66, 12. Chapter 66, 12. Watch. Who kept Mary, the mother of Isa, who kept her vagina, so we blew in our spirit. What does the translation say? It's talking about her chastity. <laughs> Why are you corrupting? It clearly says farj, right? It's talking about farj, and they changed the word, corrupted. And they call it chastity, right? Corrupting the Quran of Allah. Why are you corrupting, Abdul? Chapter 66, 12. The vagina, yeah. Farj means vagina. The English translation. <laughs> and Mary, Imran's daughter, who guarded her chastity, so breathed into her vagina. And it became, vagina guys became chastity. Look how they are corrupting. Her <laughs> Changing, playing with the Quran of Allah. into her of our spirit. Yeah, and Farjia yeah, can be both for male and female too. Yeah. Like Satan, remember, I'll talk about it later. How, how did how did vagina became chastity Muslims you see how Muslims are using the Quran of Allah when they translated they are using the Quran of Allah like toilet paper I mean if you are using it as toilet paper you're cleaning your ass with it why don't you flush it F finish the job man flush it through the toilet flush it to the toilet mm -mm. flush it to the toilet mm -mm. flush it to the toilet brother mm -mm. yeah Flush it to the toilet. Flush it to the toilet. 
Do you see it, guys? Do you see how they are corrupting? Ibn Kathir Tafsir. In, the, in for chapter 6, 6, 12. You see, at least Ibn Kathir is honest. Do you see it? Ibn Kathir says that God at her vagina. You see, Ibn Kathir is more honest than the, the, the scholars who translate the Quran, corrupt the Quran, let's say in an English translation, as you see. Focus, guys. Yeah. Blowing, doing, giving oral, oral action. Allah is giving oral action to vagina of Mary. <laughs> let, let me blow her up. <laughs> right? Like a balloon. Yeah. Yeah, they claim it's Jibreel, but we know it's Allah. Allah doing the blowing. Wow, did you catch it, guys? You see it? How they are insulting the mother of our Lord. Doing oral action, God forbid, man. What a disgusting blasphemy. You evil son of Satan. You Allah, you are no, nothing else but Satan. Muhammad is the agent, the apostle of Satan, right? insulting the mother of the blessed mother of our Lord. You see how Muhammad had no shame when he was writing the Quran. Muhammad had no shame. He had no dignity. He had no honor. He needed to blow up, you know, talk about the vagina of the blessed mother of Jesus. Disgusting. Like Muhammad Hijab would have said, you know, you, have to, you need to take out your umbrella. Itfu alik. Yeah. Itfu alik ya Muhammad. You see it, guys? <laughs> wow. Blowing inside, God forbid, Mary's vagina to, to make her a balloon. <laughs> yeah. Disgusting, evil cult, man. Try not to get disgusted, man. You want, to, you want us to go easy on Islam, guys? You want me to go easy on Islam? And the fake prophet of Islam? Disgusting, man. Yeah, corruption, you see? They corrupted and said we breathe. You see how they are corrupting? Adding, adding, always playing with the Quran. Exactly. <laughs> it's not breathing, it's... <laughs> Blue, blowing, not, not, it's not even breathing, it's blowing her up like a balloon. <laughs> Yeah, Allah is the one who's doing the blowing. Oral action on uh, the, the mother of uh, Allah. Allah is Satan, exactly. Allah is Shaitan, man. How dare you to insult the mother of our Lord? They are fraud, you see it? They are, Muslims are fraud when they play with the Quran of Allah. You know, corrupting the Quran of Allah, using it as toilet paper in their own hands. Guys, please focus, man. Focus. So number one, they didn't say that the interpretation which, which came of Ibn Kathir, they are adding their own interpretation, right? And they scammed people with totally different words, corrupting the Quran, adding words to the Quran that are not there. You know, they are translating it as chastity. Where is the word vagina? Where is the word vagina in the translation? Evil son, sons of liars. You liars when you play with the Quran of Allah, translating, put in your own words. 
عارفين ان الاجانب لا بيقروا عربي ولا yeah. بيقولوا the non arabic speaker can't read arabic and they are get they are getting deceived you know they scam the people who do not know arabic and they are getting deceived by these evil filthy liars those filthy agents of satan those translators right they scam the people it became to become a disaster See, they are too, too ashamed, guys. Are you still with me? Give me one. Forget about the Muslims who are crying in the text. Do you see how Muslims, when they translate the Quran, they are too ashamed to expose Allah and his fake prophet. They are too ashamed to add the word vagina in their translation. Did you catch it? They are too ashamed to add the word vagina because it will expose Muhammad. So to deceive those poor Indonesian Muslims, those poor uh, 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 Muslims who do not know Arabic in non-Arabic speaking countries, they are too ashamed to add the word vagina because they know it's going to become a disaster, right? Too ashamed, yeah, they're too ashamed to translate it the correct way. So they are playing with the Quran of Allah. They are using it as toilet paper. Using it as toilet paper. I mean, finish the job, man. Throw the Quran if you can't. If you're going to play with the Quran, throw it in the in the toilet and flush it. Finish the job, idiots. <laughs> They feel ashamed. They feel ashamed, right? They feel ashamed to translate it the correct way, right? Throw it in the fire or flush it in the toilet, man. If you're going to play with it anyway. Exactly. Do you have any callers, guys? <clears throat> Do you have any callers? Do we have any callers? Do we have any callers? Mayday, mayday. Do we have any callers? <clears throat> mayday, mayday. Do we have any callers? Do we have any Muslims? Any Muslim who has the courage and the knowledge to call me? See, when Muslims, you know, when they, are, when they get triggered, instead of defending the Quran, they want to talk about the Bible. What's wrong with you Muslims? What's wrong with you? The topic of today is your Quran. You know, only thing they can do is Talk about, I mean, defend your Quran, man. We are making your Quran toilet paper. We're showing you that you Muslims use the Quran like toilet paper when you play with it. Why can't you defend it? Uh, Bob, Bob, you're an idiot. We already spanked you. I, I gave you a chance. We spanked you. It's over for you. You don't get a second chance, man. We already showed you that Allah is Satan, right? When you asked me the question, why is Jesus praying? We already spanked you, spanked you fake prophet and proved to everybody that your Allah is Satan. You have a different God than our God. Because when Jesus prayed, he prayed to the Father. And I asked you, when you pray, do you call Allah Father when you pray? No, you don't. Well, Jesus did call God his Father. He is the Son of God. So Jesus was praying to a different God than your God. So it Conclusion, your God is Satan, our God is a different God. You had your chance. If you think you, you want, you deserve a second chance, then call me and let us have a discussion. Life on air, why are you so scared? 
clearly you are a hero in the live chat but you are a kitten meow 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 when it comes to talking life on air you're a kid you are a coward maybe you can call your imam maybe your imam can call instead if your imam is a coward ask your mom or dad to call me all right cowards you cowards guys this is the chapter and this is the ayah that the ladies were talking about right the word as we've spoken right as mentioned farjiha the word is vagina right this word that you see highlighted is vagina right this word that you see here let me give it to you also in the live chat if you go to translation look what they how they are translating it her virginity <laughs> you see how they are using the quran of allah as toilet paper guys you see it for jj becomes virginity let us go to another uh, translation let's see maybe uh, we have we have a f an honest one ah, i see using the quran again as toilet paper other translators let us go through all of them this one maybe let's see guys maybe we have an honest one <laughs> another guy who using the quran of allah as toilet paper let us continue guys let us continue arbery we already showed you the, the next one again using the quran of allah as toilet paper what about uh, hilali khan again using the quran of allah as toilet paper let us continue guys let us, you know let us we have all day long man all night long all night long <laughs> yeah indonesian you want us to use okay let us go to the indonesian no problem brother tafsir jalalin indonesian bahasa okay is that good one okay let us admins please do your jobs okay if people are spamming muslims are triggered they are spamming Give them a timeout. Don't block them. Give them a timeout. Maybe they can behave like uh, adults. What does this say, guys? Uh, do we have Indonesians, guys? Okay, please translate this. Does it say vagina here? Does it say vagina? Does it say vagina? Same, chastity. Okay, so no vagina Indonesian translation. So even the Indonesian ustas, the Indonesian imams, are lying they are using the quran of allah as, as their toilet paper wiping the quran of allah with their own aces i mean finish the job flush it put the quran in the toilet and flush it or burn it any honest translation man where did we stay okay we were okay itani allah okay let's say let, let's see womb yeah womb yeah vagina becomes womb guys do you see it what about maududi <laughs> Idiots, you filthy liars. Using the Quran of Allah as toilet paper. Again, was chased? Oh, this one is interesting. Chased. Guys, chased. I'm looking for a correct translation. Where is the word vagina? Chastity of her. This guy makes it even more worse. <laughs> what about this one? Qaribullah and Darwish. Darwish, brother. <laughs> evil liars, evil son of Satan's. Fil filthy liars. Using the Quran of Allah as toilet paper. What about the most used one? The Sahih International, which, which is written by one woman. Let's see. Chastity. Again, liars, man. Right? Any translation you cannot trust. Do you see, guys? You cannot trust any translation it's it's nothing but lies server then we're almost done guys virginity <laughs> what is virginity to do with vagina man i want the word vagina where is it shakir then we're almost done guys chastity evil liars you evil liars english translation okay Farjaha, you see that? Farjiha. Do you see it? 
This is the transliteration. So basically what it says, right? You see this word here is there. Do you see it? So this is vagina. Why are you why are you lying? Why are you using the Quran of Allah as toilet paper? Yusuf Ali then. Chasiti. You're a liar, Yusuf Ali. Why are you using the Quran of Allah as toilet paper, man? Chasiti. You liars. We're we're done with the whole list, man. You see? We we we, we tried all of them. Do we have any Dutch people, guys? Dutch people? Are there Dutch people here? Do we have Dutch people? Are there Dutch people here in the chat, guys? Are there Dutch people? Any Dutch? Okay, me. Uh, Trinity Production is a Dutch guy. Okay. Limehouse. Okay, Limehouse. Let me... What does it say here, guys? Translate, please. And Mariam, the doctor, Fan Imran, die, har, erbar, height. Okay, it's too, too difficult. What does it say here? Do you see here something called vagina? False. Yeah, where's where's vagina? Chastity. This one or this one? Okay. Erbar height. Okay. So this one again lying. This even in the Dutch. We had Indonesian. We had English. We went through the whole English translation. Man, this is really embarrassing, man. Uh, do we have someone who speaks Malay? Do we have any Malay speaking? Do we have any uh, Malay speaking person in? Malay? I don't know what Malay is, guys, sorry. Indonesian, okay. We already had Indonesian, but let us see another one. We, we had this one. We already showed you from this one. What about this one? Do you see the word vagina? Guys? Do you see uh, vagina here? In Indonesian, honor. The word is honor. No, again lying. Thank you, thank you. See, they are lying. What about here, Indonesian Tafsir Jalalain? Does it say vagina, guys? Does it say vagina here? Her honor. Her honor. No, okay, no. You see how they are lying, guys? Uh, Malay, I don't know. Do you, do you have Malay people here? Honor, okay, see, they are lying again. What other translation? Should, last, last translation, guys. Uh, Portuguese, okay, let's see, Portuguese. I hope we have Portuguese. I don't, yeah, here. Okay, this is Portuguese, do you see it? We have a Portuguese friend here in the live chat. Does it say vagina? Our Portuguese friend, does it say it's vagina? Abrigado. Abrigado. I like. Uh, does it say vagina in the text? No. What does it say then, Pedro? What does it say in, in Portuguese? Uh, what's my Skype? The Rob Christian. The Rob Christian. So it doesn't say that. Okay. So let us try Bosnian then. Bosnian. We are spanking Allah because Muslims, I don't know what to use, but anyway, let us use this one. You know, because Muslims are ashamed of Allah and his prophet, they have to lie. Okay. This is Bosnian. Yeah. Farid, call me Farid. Farid, call me Farid. Is Farid here? <laughs> My Skype ID is Drop Christian, you idiot. Don't ask me 10 times. I already said it many times. At least focus. Does it say vagina here? Does it say vagina in the Bosnian guys? No, right? No. What about the French? Islam is falling apart, yeah? French then. What does the French say? French. 
I'm not sure if we have uh, German people here. French. Alhamdulillah, brother. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> what does it say here? Okay, I think I know. It's virginity, right? Yeah, it sounds like English. Virginity. Yeah. Again, lying in, even in the French. You speak German. Okay, let us try German. Last, last translation, German. Okay, and this one, for example. What does it say? Scham. Scham bavartu darum hachtovirfun. What does it say, guys? The Germans, what does it say? Anyone who speaks German? What does it say? What does it say? What does this what does it mean this this part? What does it mean? Shame. So scum is shame. Scum. Scum means shame. See? How many translations did we show you guys? You see how they are using the Quran of Allah as toilet paper? They are too scared. They are too ashamed to translate the Quran the correct way. Because the word is vagina. Alright? Vagina. Let's see if Google Translate is more honest. Let's see. I hope, uh, you know. <laughs> Google Translate. I just used Google Translate. Google Translate says, spread it. <laughs> spread it? Yeah, Farjiha became spread it. Even Google Translate is using Taqiyya. Uh, what about Almani? Almani. Almani. Let me try there. Ah, Almani. Guys, look at Almani. This is a dictionary for the Arabic. Dictionary, brother. Here they are doing taqiyya. Do you see it? Chastity. Let me make it bigger for you guys. Look, this is the word, right, guys? Do you see it? Is it big enough? Okay, this is big enough. See, I put it here. This is Almani. Almani. In Arabic, Almani. Almani, you know, Almani.com. Almani. Okay, Almani in Arabic. If we scroll down, we see the first two words are taqiyya, taqiyya, deception. Do you see it? Then, ah, her private part. They don't even say vagina. They don't dare to say vagina, but you know, private, private part, brother. You see? Al Ma'ani. Yeah. Finally, finally, we understand what the word farjiha means. Private part, brother. Vagina. If you use it for shaitan, shaitan has a vagina and he has a penis. Yeah, he's effing himself. Yeah. See, guys? Finally. Hey, <laughs> hey. Finally. Private part. Yeah, private part. Vagina. You see, guys, you see how they are using the Quran of Allah as uh, toilet paper, guys? <clears throat> Filipino. Okay, we can try Filipino, no problem. Filipino, Filipino. I don't think I have a, a Filipino here. Do you have a Filipino? Uh, with a P, sorry. Uh, Polish. No Filipino. I know. Oh. No Filipino, guys. Sorry. I have to disappoint you. I don't have a Filipino translation here. It's not popular enough. <laughs> last one. Last one. Okay. You know, just to, just to be sure. Just to be sure. Any other language, guys? Try Tagalog. What is Tagalog, guys? You're killing me here. I don't have Tagalog. I have no idea what Tagalog is. I don't, I don't see Tagalog, sorry guys. You see, there's no Tagalog. We have Thai, we have Tamil. Anawa, Hebrew? I don't think there's a Hebrew one. No Hebrew. <laughs> they don't care about Hebrew, guys. They don't care about Hebrew. Yeah, there's no Tagalog, sorry guys. There's no Tagalog, see? Swahili. <laughs> can you do Spanish? We can do Spanish. Spanish. I think it's virginity, right? Again, virginity instead of vagina. 
Greek. Uh, we have people from all over the world, man. What guys? <laughs> no Greek. There's no Greek. Sorry. Yeah, no Greek. No Greek in the list. Sorry, I have to disappoint you, my friend. So you see, guys, Muslims are too ashamed to translate the Quran the correct way, right? Evil sons of Satan. You are so ashamed of your Quran that you are using false translation, right? Chastity, you idiots, you evil idiots. Why are you lying about Allah, man? Yeah, womb, they call it womb, they call it chastity, but they don't dare. They are too ashamed to call it vagina. Now, guys, we have more surprises in store. We are not done yet. The Quran of Allah is corrupted and our dear sister Hatun, she went through many countries and she collected the Quran and she found 37 different Qurans, 37 different Arabic Qurans to be specific. She started with, tw with 26, she found in the first time she found 26 and the number is even growing. So we have today 37 different Qurans. Muslim sources claim that there are even 900 different ones, 900. It's over 900. Right. Malaysia, okay, okay, last one, last one. Malaysian. Malaysian, no problem, brother. Is this Malaysian, guys? Malay? Is that any, does that mean Malaysian? Is that is this the one? Malay? Yes, 900 different Qurans. Malay, okay, Malay. What does Malay say? What does it say, guys? I don't know the does it say vagina? Does it say vagina? Does it say vagina, guys? Chastity. You see? Again, lying. Honor. No honor. No, yeah. They have, these people have no honor. Exactly. Muslims have no honor. They are too ashamed to translate the Quran of Allah correctly. Guys, let us continue, okay? Enough, enough. Let me show you a bigger disaster. This is the same chapter, guys. Chapter 66. I, I went to a website, guys. I went to an Arabic website for the same ayah. You see chapter 66, chapter At-Tahrim of the Quran. Same one, right? 66 At-Tahrim, ayah 12. This is an Arabic recitation website for the Quran. And you have the Hafs. Look, this is Hafs. Do you see it? Hafs, Quran. Hafs and Asim. Hafs, Quran, right? The, one, the number one, guys, uh, okay, enough playing, guys. Let us continue. Please focus. Focus. This is the Hafs Quran. Here, this, this is the word. Let me scroll and go back to English, guys. It's more easier for me. Pickthal. See the word here? Scriptures. <clears throat> you see it, guys? Let me see if we can find a more closer one. This is not the one that I want. Okay. You see this word? His books. Do you see it? This is the correct translation for this word. Wakutubihi. Do you see it? Wakutubihi. The books of Allah, right? Do you see it, guys? Did you catch it? We already did Malaysian. We already did. Do you see his books, guys? Please focus, guys. I, I don't want to waste my time because our brother CP will go live very soon. We have 10, ten minutes, okay? We have 10 minutes. So do you see uh, his books? Okay. Here, if we go to the Hafs, this is the Hafs, right, guys? What could to be? That mean, this means his books. This is correct. His books. This is the same Hafs, right? Hafs. Okay. What could to be? Do you see it? What could to be? What could to be? If we go to the Warsh version of the Quran, or Qalun, this is Qalun. Qalun An-Nafi. Qalun version of the Quran. Qalun, right? Same ayah, same chapter, same ayah, same chapter. It says, Wakutubihi. Wakutubihi. If we go to Warsh, it says, Wakutubihi. No, sorry. Wakitabihi. Sorry, Wakitabihi. Sorry, am I mistaken? I didn't read it correctly. So, Warsh and Qalun, this is Warsh, the number two often used Quran, the same country like Morocco. 
وَكِتَابِهِ It says وَكِتَابِهِ What? وَكِتَابِهِ Half says وَكُتُبِهِ وَكُتُبِهِ This one says قَالُون says وَكِتَابِهِ And what says وَكِتَابِهِ And other meanings The halves guys Half's version is talking about the books of Allah, his books, all of the books, Tawrat, Injil, Quran, Zabur. But the Warsh and Qalun version, right? These are versions of the Quran, right? Different Qurans. They say his book without an S. Did you catch it, guys? So Half's versus Warsh and Qalun. You see the difference, guys? Here we have not only different in meaning, difference in meaning. You see how they are, even the Quran of Hafs and Warsh are against one another. So we have not only difference in meaning, we have differences in doctrine. You see the disaster guys? Doctrine. Bob, Bob is calling me. Yes, hello? Yes, hello? Yes, I can hear you. You're live on air. Can you mute YouTube, please? Mute YouTube. I hear myself double. Mute YouTube. What? Mute YouTube. He's muted. Okay. Go ahead. You are, you just called me. Can you defend the Quran of Allah? Go ahead. Yes. Okay, go ahead. That, 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 that's the translation. Do you see the screen? Wait, hang on. I need to call you back. What? Hello? And he hang up. Why did you hang up, man? Waste of time. Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. Why did you why did you hang up? Shaking, you're shaking. Eh? Sh shaky Sheikh. I hope you're a Sheikh, brother. <laughs> Bob Bob, why did you hang up, man? Call me back, man. Let me call him back. Why did you hang up? Bob, Bob, Mr. Abdul, let me call him back. Yalla, pick up, pick up, Bob, Bob. Bob is unfailable. Why, Bob? You're active. It says you're active now. Coward. So he's hanging up, guys. He's hanging up. You weasel. <laughs> exactly. You coward. You're a joke, man. So guys, in other words, we have two, three versions, right? We have three versions. Qalun, right? We have Qalun. We have Warsh. This is Warsh. We have Qalun. This is Qalun. It says, وَكِتَابِهِ His book of Allah. Let's say this is the Quran, right? And we have Warsh, the number two one. Also says, وَكِتَابِهِ Versus... The halves, which which says وَكُتُبِهِ His books. So this is the, this one that you see here. It says his books. This is halves. So which one is correct, Muslims? Which one is correct? Is it his book or is it his books, Muslims? Pick your cherries, please. Did Allah say his books or his book? Huh? 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 Guys, just a second. Let me get uh, the correct one. So, which one is which one is correct, Muslims? Just a second, guys. I hope I got the. Let's see. Is this the one? No. Just a second. No. Where Where is the one that I'm looking for? Okay. Okay. This is okay. Anyway, I, I can't find it at the moment. It's too many uh, things. But you see, guys, in other words, we have the halves and the warsh. We have difference, difference in doctrine. Do you know what that means, guys? Difference in doctrine? So is Allah talking about his books or his book? Which one is correct? Pick your cherries, Muslims. Pick and choose, brother. What do you like? Which one do you like? You see, even the Arabic, the original Arabic Qur'ans, do not agree. Do not agree. This is a disaster, man. 
So we have different in meaning. One book against many books of Allah. And this also changes the doctrine. Now Muslims say, not one dot is changed. Not one letter is changed. Even, yes, we have many variations, but it does not affect the doctrine. You liars. I mean, if Allah is talking about the Quran, or is Allah talking about the Quran, the Injil, the Torah, or the Zabur, which they call the Psalms. You see how the Quran of Allah became corrupt, guys? Do you see how the Quran of Allah became corrupt? Right? Wa kutubihi says the Hafs version. Wa kutubihi, his books, right? You see it? Versus the Warsh and the Qalun. The Qalun, this is Qalun. Wa kitabihi, his book. His books, Hafs. Wa kitabihi, Qalun, his book. Warsh, Warsh. It says, وَكِتَابِهِ Again, his book. So his books versus his book. Pick your cherries, Muslims. Allah, which one is it? You claim to be God, Allah. You, you claim to be God. You claim that you sent a perfect Quran. But which one is it? Is it his books or his book? Disaster. Disaster, brother. Disaster. You see? Guys, guys, <clears throat> why are you sending me messages? Don't send me messages, man. Don't waste my time, please. Don't send me messages in Skype. If it's not important, don't send me messages. You're spamming me. Which one is correct? Muslims? Which one is correct? His books or his book? Cowards, no, no call. They don't dare to call me, man. You see how Muslims, guys, corrupted the Quran, guys? Do you see it? Quran corrupted by Muslim hands. Which one is correct? Is the Warsh and the Qalun correct? Or is the Hafs correct? Which one, Muslims? You see how important it is to know Arabic, guys? To spank Allah and His Prophet? Let me give you more examples. More examples? Yes, Rob Christian, more examples. Guys, watch. Here is the Hafs version. I, uh, I took a screenshot from the same website. Hafs version for chapter 43. Guys, chapter 43. Right? 43, ayah 19. This one here, same ayah, do you see it? Same ayah, ayah 19 for the house version. Ayah 19 for the house version. This one says, Ibadu, right? Alladheena hum ibadu rahmani So basically, the, they are the ones who are the slaves of Ar-Rahman, Allah, right? The slaves of Ar-Rahman. But the same chapter, same ayah for the Qalun and the Warsh versions. Do you see it, guys? This one says, عِنْدَ In other words, الَّذِينَ The ones, they are with Ar-Rahman, with Allah. So it's slaves versus with. <laughs> Do you see the difference in the words, guys? عِبَادُ The slaves of Ar-Rahman. The slaves of Ar-Rahman. Hafs versus the Qalun and Warsh version. عِنْدَ with Allah you have been busted you have been spanked the Quran of Allah is corrupted is it the slaves of or is it with Allah you claim to be God and you promise to protect your Quran from corruption but here we see corruption same ayah same chapter do you see it guys do you see the corruption slaves Versus Hafs version, right? Hafs version says slaves, Ibadu Rahman, the slaves of Rahman. Qalun and Warsh version say, with Inda Rahman. Inda Rahman. Do we have any Arabic speaker in the chat, guys? Do we have any Arabic speaker in the chat who can confirm? To, sh to show you that I'm not lying. Any Arabic speaker in the chat? 
Any honest Arabic speaker in the chat? Liar! We have I am. I am your Arabic speaker. Does it say in the house? The slaves off? Okay. Can you confirm please? The house version says the slaves off, right? But the next ayah, sorry, the, the, in the Hafs uh, and the Qalun, it says Inda. What's the difference, uh, I am? What's the difference between Inda and Ibadu? He's confirming. Thank you. Do you see, guys? Do you see it? Do you see, do you see the disaster, guys? Do you see the disaster? You can even see the difference, right? How it's, how it's written. You see, guys, here the dot is underneath. You see the dot? A, and then it becomes a B. A, ba. A, ba, do. A, ba. So dot underneath becomes a B. Here the dot is on top. Do you see the difference, guys? Here it's underneath. Here it's on top. You see the difference, right? N. It, this one is an N. B versus an N. عند and versus عبادو right you see the corruption guys between the Hafs and the Qalun and Warsh corruption 101 yeah uh, the vowels are changed and the letters are changed completely different word completely different meaning completely different doctrine Wow! Wow! Did you catch it? And let me show you the last... Uh, the last... Uh, so that you can go to Christian Prince, guys. I think Christian Prince is going to go live any, any moment. Another example. Chapter 57, Ayah 24. Hafs version. Hafs version, guys. Focus, please. It says here, Allah... Huwa al-Ghani. Allah, He is. Huwa. Do you see the word Huwa? Let me make it bigger. Do you see it, guys? Huwa. He is. Means Allah, He is al-Ghani. Half's version. You see it? Half's version. Same ayah. If we go to the Qalun, this word is missing. <laughs> it's missing. You see? It's missing. It's gone. It's completely gone. Completely gone, brother. Yes, it's gone. It's missing. The whole word is gone. Where's the word? I think Allah was hungry and he ate the word, guys. He completely ate the word. Do you see it? Hafs versus Qalun and Warsh. Missing word. Yes, I mean, who was hungry? I th someone was hungry, man, and he ate the, the word. And they say not one thought is changed. Not one word is changed. Not one letter is changed. See? Completely gone. Yeah, someone, I think we had a burning rabbit who ate the words of Allah. Maybe it was the goat of Aisha, guys. Ah, the goat of Aisha eating words. Donkey ate it. Yeah, goat ate it. The goat of Aisha, brother. That's that same. My, that goat must be the most wanted goat in the entire history of goats. Hello? Hello? Mute YouTube. Yeah, hello, Bob. Hey, yeah. Hey, 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 Bob. Hey, Bob. What's up, Bob? Yeah, what's up? What's up? What's up? You're live. Okay. okay, go ahead. And can you hear me now? Yeah. Can you defend Allah's Quran, my friend? Uh, okay, Help out Allah, all, please, uh, man. Help wait, Allah. Okay. Okay. Wait, okay. First of all, uh, I want to start in it off by saying that. Um, Speak uh, like, louder, please. Talk... Speak louder. Speak like a, a real no. man, please. Speak louder. I am. Okay, can you know hear me? Ahead. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, hello? Yeah, hello. Well, uh, what are you doing is just uh, putting up translations. That's not the actual uh, book. Okay, but we... The are... actual original... No, no, the original no, no, no. Forget Arabic about translation. No, yeah, brother. Okay. Brother, I have the Arabic in front of me, brother. Yeah, okay, Enti what about entire, it? Entire words are missing, brother. In Arabic? Yeah, Arabic, brother. Can you see the screen? Uh, no. Well, okay. I can't see screen. Yeah, you should, you should open open YouTube and mute it. Turn your camera on. Open YouTube, go to my live show, but mute it so that you only speak through Skype. 
You see the screen? I'm going. I think okay. Can... Yeah, go, 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 go. Yeah, missing word. Yeah, exactly, guys. Chapter 57 is, is on the screen. Chapter 57 of the Quran, Ayah 24. We are showing on the screen the Hafs version, Hafs and Asim, and verses Qalun and Warsh. Qalun and Warsh. An Nafi, An Nafi. So the Qalun and Nafi and Warsh and Nafi. Qalun and Warsh version versus the Hafs version. Do you see the screen now? Please don't waste my time. No. Hel Hello? Do you see the screen? Yeah. Okay. Do you see do you see the word huwa here? Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. Do you see that it's missing? In the in the Qalun and Warsh? Do you see it? Compare it, please. You Muslims say the Quran is not changed, but it clearly it's changed. Do you see it? Hello? No. Are you shocked? No. Are you shocked? You must be shocked. Come on, don't say no. You must be shocked. Because your Imam always told you, right? Let me make it bigger. Maybe you're blind. Uh, maybe your Imam always told you the Quran has never changed. Do you see the difference or not? If you say no, then there's something wrong with your eyes. Right? Do you see it? Come on, speak, man. I think a cat ate his tongue. Okay, waste of time. Don't waste my time, man. Guy, guy's a shock, man. He became shocked. Do you see? Shock. He's a shock. Brother, why are you in shock, man? Brother, why are you in shock, man? I mean, come on, man. You see how these poor people have been deceived all their lives, guys? You see how these poor people have been deceived? He, the, the, the poor guy is shocked, man. The cat ate his tongue, man. A cat ate his tongue, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. Bob became very shocked, brother. Hello. We are here to shock you, brother. Here, brother. We are the shock. We are the we are here to shock you, brother. Shock, shock, brother. Oh, brother. Rob Christian gave you just an electric shock. Guy, cat ate his tongue, man. What happened, man? Thank you for the super chat, guys. Noah in the super chat says, Matthew 24, 11. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Exactly. Amen, brother. And today is the proof of that. Amen, bro. Thank you for the super chat. God bless you. God bless your loved ones. Guys, do you see the, do you see the disasters? And I only gave you two examples, right? Only two, brother. Oh, man. You must be in shock, man. Complete word missing, man. The guy is in shock. Bob, I hope I really didn't, you know, I hope you will not get a heart attack. I don't hate you, my friend, but I'm showing you the truth. Your Quran has been corrupted by Muslim hands. Proof is on the screen. Right? Guys, and by this we conclude our live show because, you know, I know our dear brother Christian Prince is going to go live any moment. So you see, guys, how the Quran of Allah has been corrupted by Muslim hands, brother. Please leave this man-made code who always deceived you and come back home to our Lord and Savior, the name above all names, Jesus Christ himself. You see how important today's video is, guys. Guys who are listening, if you love me as I love you and I'm here to teach you about Islam, the true face of Islam, not the Islam that the Imams have been deceiving Muslims with. Share then our videos all on social media. Help me to help you guys. I'm not here for myself. I'm here to serve the truth. Thank you for being here guys. I love you. May Jesus bless all of you, your loved ones including yourselves. Muhammad is a fake prophet. And today we, and again, in another live show, prove that the Quran of Allah is corrupted. There are many different Arabic Qurans. Forget about the translations, guys. You see how this poor Bob has been shocked? He's shocked. 
And that's what we are here for. We are here to shock. Thank you for watching guys. Muhammad is a fake prophet. Every knee will bow and proclaim that Jesus is Lord, including your knees Muslims. Thank you for watching. God bless you. God bless your loved ones. Lord willing, we will see each other in a future live show. God bless you. Please don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button and share our videos guys. Share them all over the world. God bless.